Yo, 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 who's all in here? Uh, Tano Raider 16, what is up? And Stu, we trust. Thank you. Raider Joe. Oh, uh, here, uh, let me see here. Uh, to. I got to get you the link. Uh, Mark Stal Salter, what's up? Uh, Robert, hey, Stu. You yeah, I know. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Raphael. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Keep AP. What's up, nation? Stu, you deserve all the... Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. I always think that says uh, grash it. The road I grew up on was Grash at G-R-A-T-I-O-T. Um, Stu Pock, yes, sir. Listen, at Raider Nation, this year hasn't been what we wanted it to be, but there is a lot of stuff we can use this year and build off of for the future. Yeah, oh, absolutely. 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 Um, hold on. Let me just see. Let me just – hold on. Let me just see. make sure my, my nephew I – want, I want Ian to come on. Um, hopefully everybody had a good new year's, uh, good new year's, good Christmas. If I haven't talked to you, yeah, and actually this, this one is signed that signed. It's, it's, I should have it. I should have it in a, in a frame, but 92 people in here. Heck yeah. Let's go. Okay. Leo Torres yesterday. Fame was not impact impact why refs calls uh yesterday's fame was not impact uh leo uh, send that again i'm not sure what you i'm not sure what you mean by that uh what's good Stu? you got a oh yeah 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 here uh What the hell? Uh, yeah, hold on one sec, Raider uh, Raider Joe. Uh, Raider Sound, Fred Hampton. What up? Happy New Year's. Thank you. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Fred Hampton. What's up, Stu? Uh, get here from graphic. Oh, actually, th thank you, everyone that's coming over. Uh, we'll let people flow in here. We got 120 in here. Let's go. Uh if Harbaugh becomes our coach, I think he moves Munford to guard and drafts a tackle. Munford was an All-American guard at OSU. Thank you very much. Uh, Young Dreams, Young Dreamers League became a – thank you. Thanks for becoming a, a member. Appreciate that. Uh, Johnny Kick Nuts, thank you. Let's see. Uh, Big Poppy. Uh, Christmas. Let me just – so, yeah, I need to – let's see. Uh, so, Stu, do you think Mark Davis should go after Harbaugh or stick with AP no matter what? <sighs> I, uh, God, I – yeah, it's – oh, that's a tough – that's – oh, man. I. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Richard. Thank you, Richard. Uh, hold on. How do I sit? Let me see. Let me know. I'm going to try to. Ha okay. Let. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jack Tatum. Uh, Big Ten guy. Ohio State, baby. How about again that national championship or uh, the the M Michigan? I love seeing the Big Ten. I love seeing the Big Ten do well. Let me do this. I'm gonna pull up. I want to pull up the. Well, first of all, let me let me do this again. I just give me a couple seconds here. I just want I want everyone to come in because I wanna I wanna be able to give my 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 talk about Mark Davis and just what what he I mean just. 
the, the type of owner he is, man, and and just the Raiders organization um, as a whole. I mean, just just amazing. Let me just pull up a couple things here. Everyone, just let me see. I just want to properly give give all the props to who was all there um, at the game. So let me just let me make sure I don't forget. So again, obviously, um, uh, Ra Martin, Scotty Touche. Um, let me just go with there we go mark davis yeah here we go that's my dog hold on let me uh, hold on let me just let me see who that was let me see Okay, all right. Hold on one sec, guys. Let me just let me get this to, to graph on his Twitter. That's X, right? That's X, isn't it? Let me go here. Uh, here. Okay. Let me see here. Five decades. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Raph. Let me get through some stuff here first, brother. The link isn't working. Hold, God darn it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just let me make sure I get this the right way here. Let's see. Share message. Maybe that's why Ian's not coming on. Ah, so here. I just came from a. I did a, about a two-hour uh, pot or uh, YouTube channel with some Purdue guys. So forgive me, I'm a little. For you, for you, FSK, FS. Wait, hold on. Did that? God damn it. Hold on. Fuck. Sorry, guys. Hold on just one second. My Lord. StreamYard.com backslash for you F S K 45 W 7. Okay. That should have. The fuck? Why is it? Yeah, what? Why isn't it working here? Uh. Hello. Hello. You know that link ain't working. Yeah, I know. I don't. Here, let me just make sure here. Stream. The fuck. That's probably why my nephew's not on yet. Yeah. Here, hold on here. Now here. Okay, yeah, there you go. Try that. I must have been spelling it wrong.
Hey, can you, can you, can you, hey, I want to welcome Graf to the show. Hey, can you, can you send that to? Yeah. Yeah. I'll send it over right now. Here. And let me, why won't it? Salute to everybody here in the building, man. Wipe them feet, y'all. Yeah, for real. We got, we got 183. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to forward it over. Copy. Yeah, let me let me resend this to my... All right, send it over there to waste it. Boom. All right. Okay. Hey, no. What's good, King? LT in the building. All my guys in the chat, man, wipe them. I know Stu about to put on a hell of a show. I had to pop in for a few minutes and come shoot this Yeah, shoot. please, please, please. Yes, sir, man. Let me see. All right, let me let me hit up. I'm, I'm gonna mute myself real quick. I'm gonna hit up uh, ways to refer. Okay. okay, there we go. All right, let's see. Okay, do do. Okay, give what? Give them in just a second. Oh yeah, that's what I was. I just want to make sure. Let me just pull this up. Let me go. Um, wait, let me go back. There he goes. Yep, wasted. Got the. Uh, he just grabbing some coffee. We'll be here in a second. What are we, what are we talking about, man? What are we doing? So no, I wanna. I wanna just make sure that I'm giving all the props to the people that I talked to at the game. So I just want to make sure that because. I want to. I want to get all of their position titles and make sure that I'm giving the people the props that need to have. Let me ask you. I, I know. I know how close you are with with Rob. Like, how did that conversation when you see Rob Ryan? I know that's the first time you've seen him in a while, right? I know you guys text all the time and talk. Yeah, that, I mean that's the first time I've seen him since I left. No way. Y yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. We didn't see him at, at any of the alumni parties he wasn't No, there? because that's the thing. You usually and that's why, okay, so that's that's why hold on just one sec. Hold on, hold that, hold that question. I just I just had to get one more dude here. Hold on. And then, mm -hmm. then, I'll, then I'm gonna get into my stuff here. Oh, okay, okay. Where's you send it over to your nephew? Yeah, yep, yeah, I did. I did. Where is New York Pete at? Oh, that's your guy that was at the game too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here we go. This is it. I got it right here, and then we, then I'll get going here. All right, one second. Hold on. Salute to everybody in the building, man. Make sure yeah, you're real. if you're not subscribed yet, man. For real. Let me see. College refs are way better than NFL refs. Leo, I have to. We might have to agree with you on that, fam. <laughs> Them rest was terrible. Did you see the rest with the Detroit and at Dallas game too, Stu? I was gonna say I watched me and my nephew watched that game because obviously he's a big Detroit fan. Yeah, dude, I couldn't believe it. I mean, that was not there was it wasn't even close to uh offsides at yeah. all. Like no crazy, bro. And then and then yeah, right. Because didn't they have it? No, no, maybe maybe they called back the uh they called back the two point conversion. They said that the offensive lineman didn't report. But he went. But he went straight over. Or am I thinking of? Or am I? Am I thinking of the Raiders game where they call about Jack Jones? Give about Jack Jones. Yeah, he didn't, dude. He didn't. Even, it, what? He didn't even move. He timed it up perfectly. But yeah, I'm telling you this. You see the three linemen go over there. Why the hell do you think they're going over? And you can even see uh, the quarterback telling him to go. And yes. the referee runs runs away. I, I mean, I like I, how, how can you even? How can you do that? What else are you supposed to do? How how how, how can you even make that call and still? Like, and the thing is, the flag came in super late. Super sounds late. Like, sounds like they rigged the Bengals game too. See, I didn't see the end of that game. I, I seen it was a bro, cold what's game. What's going on, man? That, I mean, that, that's, I mean, you're, you're talking about calls that, that determine the outcome of the game, dude. Yeah, and, and that flag that came in on that Jack Jones, it was late. Late. Yeah, because Jack Jones was damn near halfway down the field celebrating. <laughs> dude, they, they. I mean, I, I went and rewatched it. He, because I, because I'm going. There's no way because he's looking. I see him looking at the ball. But, but let me ask you this: Do you think that one of the refs called because that kick was very short? I don't know if the kicker just kind of gave up on the kick because it was called. Because I thought the the flag was late. I didn't see the flag for a while. I, I thought it was. 
I didn't see nothing. In, I, like the little yellow thing that says on TV flag. Yeah. It didn't come up till he hit the goalpost, right? You know, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm questioning it because that kick was so short, bro. It was so short. Like, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe he's seen something there. Maybe he's seen something and just stopped in the middle, which he shouldn't have. I don't know what great I players are going to so, dude. I, I, that, that seemed like to me, they knew he was going to miss it. So they threw it. Yeah. I don't get it, man. Salute to Richard on a $20 donation as well, man. Yeah, you yeah. got people probably uh, eating ramen the next two weeks. <laughs> Salute to Richard. We appreciate you, brother. Hey, hey, man. Let me tell you something, man. I, I've I've lived off ramen for a long time. <laughs> again, again, guys. When we talked about a quarterback, man, I said my favorite guy is is McCarthy, and it looks like Tom Brady agrees. Yep. Okay. Hold on. He said calling JJ McCarthy Michigan's greatest quarterback, no doubt. That's a damn. That's a, yeah. That's a high praise right there, man. But I'm but my when you got bro, I'm telling you, bro. Like, what did I say, dude? I've been watching this kid, man. He's lost one game. He's yeah. No, he's game. a proven winner. He's definitely a proven winner. Here's the deal. And here's the deal. Harbaugh, a but so there's a there's a very close friend of mine that is is close friends with Harbaugh. I've never met Harbaugh. I don't I don't know him or have talked to him, but he talks to him and he said, I have a I have this recruit coming in, JJ McCarthy. He might be the greatest quarterback to ever play. Wow, this is when he was a. This is when he was a recruit. Who is this? I want to welcome wasted talent to the to the group. Yep, yep, yep. What's up, so, fellas? No, no uh, Harbaugh made the comment of when he signed McCarthy out of high school. He said, "Right now, I signed a kid who potentially is probably going to be one of the greatest quarterbacks to ever play at Michigan." He made this call before he even got to Michigan. Yeah. Wow. He, yeah. he said he's the greatest court, quarterback in college too. Right now, look, look at right here, wasted. Look what Brady said. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, follow the <laughs> follow the dots. Connect the dots, brother. Hey, look at McCarthy is just decent. All right. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I got you. I got you. All right. <laughs> All right, so let me do this. Let me, let me, um, and I don't know where my nephew's at here, but first of all, okay, so again, when we go to the, when we go to those reunions, right, we're at the game, right? Mm -hmm. And I've been to, let's see, they flow me out. I've, I've been to probably five or six games, and there's no interaction with the team, right? Like, mm -hmm. or the coaches, like, they keep them dudes, like, even. Like, you know, and we're right there in that sweet area even before warmups, right? There's no interaction. Coaches aren't coming over and, and talking. So, again, I'm thinking this. We're in Indy, right? So, uh, I know how they treat away teams. I mean, they, they give you the worst set t tickets and everything, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I just went and bought – I mean, we, we were way up. But, I mean, the tickets were like 280 apiece, and we were way, way up there, way up there. Yeah. So we just went down a lower level where there's like a little open pavilion area and we just watched it sat around. Yeah. But again, so I'm thinking, okay, I know how, how, how it is at Raider games, the interaction. So I'm thinking there's going to be none as far as um, our game. And on Saturday, so here's the deal on Saturday, we were thinking of going there and, and I asked Rob if, if we could meet up at the hotel and he said, absolutely. And then I, and actually Bob Romanski, the head equipment manager, mm -hmm. right. Who's, his dad was Al Davis, his first equipment manager, you know, Romo, a guy that I have a great relationship with. I said, Bob, are we going to be able to meet up with you? This is Friday, right? And he said, man, I'm going to, because as soon as they land, the plane lands. And I was, so is, is, is Vegas, Vegas is on mountain time. Yes. Okay. Well, well it, it, it depends on what part of Vegas you in. It doesn't it differ. Like it's like Pacific. It's Pacific. It's Pacific. It's Pacific, but it depends on, I think, I think, if you go, it, it is Pacific because I know last time I was out there, I was three hours behind the East. Okay, so that's that's weird to me because and 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 to be honest with you, this might have been affected the, the the game. Usually, when we travel three time zones away, you leave on Friday, mm -hmm. always. Mm -hmm. The Raiders didn't get into like six o'clock on Saturday, right? Yeah, that's what I thought was weird. That was strange. I thought that was weird. Okay, so anyways, Bob Romanski's like, well, I'm going to be at the stadium because as soon as the plane lands they get the truck and they load up all the equipment and they drive to the stadium. Mm -hmm. So I just threw it out there. I was like, well, can we meet up with you at the stadium? And he's like, yeah. So I was like, Oh, this is going to be dope. You go to the stadium, you know, help, you know, talk to, 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 to Bob. 
and set up the locker room. But then on Saturday, it got to the point where me and my me and my nephew were kind of, you know, it was kind of late. So we didn't, I'm not, I, I said, hey, listen, we'll just see you guys tomorrow. All right. So we didn't get to go down Saturday. Um, but so we got up Saturday. But now I, I, when I was talking to, to, to Chuck Pagano called me, he goes, are you going to the game? I said, yeah. He goes, let me make a phone call real quick. So he hung up. And that's when he sent the message about, I got sideline passes for you. I'm like, oh, dude, like, yeah, it's that's, right. dope. that's dope as hell. Like super, super dope. Cause I was, what I was planning on doing was I was just going to go to the game and then afterwards just try to like meet up with guys afterwards. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, and then, you know, Rod Martin, who was the head trainer when I was there, he lives in Indy. So I, I, had, I had called him and I just said, Hey, we're, we're going to come in on Saturday. Um, and so, so anyway, so, right. So we get there, uh, and we're, we, we park and we're walking and my, you know, my nephew's wearing the swagger Jersey and I'm wearing Lysado and obviously Colt, a lot of Colts fans are Purdue fans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Being an in indie there and we're walking and this guy behind wearing all this Colt stuff. And he's like, Schweiger. He's like, man, he's like, yeah, Schweiger was, and he's talking to his little kid and he's like, Schweiger Jersey. I haven't seen one of those. He's like, man, he was a safety at Purdue and he's talking to my nephew or whatever. And then my nephew's like, well, that's Stuart right there. And the guy, looks at, the guy looks at me and he's like, no, no. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And he's like, the Purdue guy that had all the interceptions that I'm like, yeah. And he's like, so you're here at the, I'm like, yeah, no, I live in Lafayette. He's like, nah, that ain't you. That ain't you. And he's like, let me see your ID. And I'm like, all right. So I show him the ID. Of course you're going to be like, all right. Yeah. And then, so and then we got to you know, still take my phone number, man. Get shit. Get, <laughs> But I, took a, I took a picture with his son and stuff, but as we're walking, we were talking to him and there, 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 there weren't really a whole lot of Raiders fans there at all. Like at first when we got there, we're thinking like, dude, the, we thought this game would be packed and it ended up filling in. I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a sellout crowd. Um, on TV, but, it sounded like we were out there deep. Like it sounded like there was a lot of Raider fans. Uh, I mean, like you were there, so you've seen it, but it just seemed a lot loud. It seemed like when we made big plays, you heard screams. You heard like it sounded like we were. In well, full I will say this: the Colts fans were really quiet. Like even my nephew was like, "Dude, this crowd is lame, man." And I said, "Well, I said, the, you know, the Colts fans are they're a little more reserved, right? They're not they're not real crazy or whatnot. No one was talking crap to us and whatnot, you know. Like they're, they're like be- Titans fans. I, I've been out there a few times. It's the same thing. Yeah, they're like, oh, you guys played a great game. And you're like, yeah. well. Like, fuck you, you know. Like- no, no, after the game, like no one was like no one was talking trash or nothing. But, anyways, right? So we go and we get the sideline passes, but we're it says even on there, I don't have the pass, but it says on there, uh, you know, uh what fans are friends of the Colts, right? So they're coming through Chuck Pagano. So yeah, we get down there, and then right away I see I see a, a guy named uh Jake Stanford, and he was he he was a freshman when I was a senior at Purdue and his brother, John Stanford was one of the greatest receivers ever to come out of Purdue. At one time, he was the all time reception leader of the big 10, my draft class. He's from Indiana, but I had a chance to get, see him, but we're in this Colts section and we can't really see nothing. And, and the Colts fans were kind of like, you know, you can go down there. Like, you know, this is the, the Colts section or whatever. And we're just kind of like, Oh, all right. So like they're on this side, then you have like the, the bench. Right. So, we're just, we're like, okay. So we started walking and on the bench, my nephew, cause this is, this is before the team is even out for warmups, right? Yeah, yeah. We got yeah. there. We, we could be on the field from 11, no, 11 to 1230. Mm-hmm. And then the game was at one. So he's like, my nephew's like, yo, that's Rob Ryan right there. And I look and I'm like, Robbo, he turns around. He's like, great fucking Jersey, you know, cause he, yeah, he loves the throwback stuff because that's what we yeah. used to wear when that's how I got into the throwback game. And he comes over, gives me a huge hug. You know, we catch up. He meets my nephew, takes some pictures. He's like, dude, Mark wants to see you. Mark wants to see you. Mark, when, when I told you that you were going to be here, he's like, he was so excited that you were going to come or whatever. And I, so I've been to the, the reunion stuff. And I only had a chance to really see Mark once. And it was, it was when I went back for the first time and we did a combo with the aces and we had four Raiders alumni with four aces alumni. I remember that. Yeah. And we did like a little halftime thing and I kind of went up and it was just real quick. And I, I think I told the story of at the Miami, did I tell you guys the Miami story? 
with Mark Davis in 07? No. So let me tell that story real quick. So uh, in 07, when we went down to Miami and won, right, when mm -hmm. Cole Pepper had all those touchdowns and stuff, mm -hmm. he's pointing at his knee and whatever. So after the game, uh, Lane, Lane Kiffin was like victory, victory Monday, right? See you Wednesday. So I'm on the bus and because uh, Ronaldo Hill, you know, mm -hmm. not not the safety that played at uh, Tennessee for a little bit, but Ronaldo Hill, the DB from Michigan yeah. State, yeah. you know, that's coaching at Miami now. Well, the year before in 06, he was in, he was with me with the Raiders. And then in 07, he played for the Dolphins. So after the game, he's like, Stu, man, are, are you going to stay? Like you should, you know, kick it or whatever. And I'm like, nah, you know, I'm, I'm going to travel back. And then I'm on the bus and we're, we're sitting in the parking lot and it's, it's Rob Ryan. It's Wink Martindale. It's Chuck. No, Chuck was gone. It was Darren Perry, my DB coach. And we're sitting there and, um, you know, we're, we're back there drinking some beer and whatnot. And, and I was talking to Rob. I'm like, yeah, Ronaldo said, Stu, I, Stu, you should stay. And Rob's like, why don't you stay? I'm like, well, I don't know. Should I? He's like, yeah, fuck yeah. He's like, you don't have to be back till Wednesday, dude. He's like, stay and just catch a flight like Tuesday. So the bus is leaving. Literally, I go, stop the bus. And it like, Rrr! and I, I run off. And they're like, Stu, where are you going? I'm like, fuck it. I'm staying. They're like, dude, you're fucking crazy, man. So I get off. <laughs> they open up the thing. I, I get my like bag. The bus takes off. And my phone has no service. And then I'm just sitting in the parking lot, like oh, by shit. myself. Yeah. And like it's getting close to it's like starting to get dark. And like I remember some guy walked by. I was like, just so you know, this isn't the safest place to be after dark. And I'm like trying to call my brother was in town. I'm trying to call Ronaldo, but my phone's not working. So I'm like, and the bus is gone. I'm like, oh well, fuck, dude. Like, yeah. what am I gonna do? And all of a sudden, this limousine pulls up. And you ever see, remember in Dumb and Dumber, we're like, yeah, 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 the end. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, sh like at first I'm thinking like, am I, am I about to get robbed or some shit? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Black limo pulls up and the window rolls down and it's Mark Davis. He's like, Stu, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I decided to stay. And he's like, you got a ride? I said, oh, I, I'm trying to get a hold of Ronaldo, but my phone's not working. He's like, man, come on in here. And he's like, I'll give you a ride wherever you want. So I jump in and. He had like some people he was taking to the airport, but he poured me like a a, 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 a whiskey and whatever. And, you know, we we're chopping it up, but he, he picked me up and dropped me off at, uh, I want to say at my brother's hotel or whatnot. So yeah. Mark was, I, I didn't see him too much, but he was always cool. Like I'd see him at a couple of times. He always would go to the Warriors games and it was always Mark and a Raider legend right on side, like right on the sideline. Right. Like, and again, his dad was so much involved. Mark didn't really have any connection with the team, really, at that point. He just was Mark Davis. He was just Al Davis' son. Yeah, yeah. So again, so I, I knew me and Mark were cool. But again, when I saw him in Vegas at the time, it was real quick. So then when they were like, you know, he wants to see, I was, I was kind of like, okay, because I thought we were closer, but then I never really had a chance to talk to him. So I was like, oh, this, this is really cool. I want to get a chance to tell him about the alumni and, you know, you know yeah, all yeah. this stuff, right? So, you know, Rob's like, oh, Mark, Mark wants to see you. But then Rod Martin, my old trainer, was there. So we started chopping it up, and he gave me these right here, which was pretty cool. He's like, Stu, I got this for you and your nephew. These are like the little tickets for after the game to meet up with, like, at the buses and meet up with, like, the team and stuff. So I'm like, oh, yeah. thank you very much. And um, so I'm talking with Rod, and then Scotty Touche comes over, and he's the assistant head trainer. He was there when I was there. And then you had um, uh, Chris Chris Cortez, who was just like a, a new trainer, but now he's the head trainer. He came over, and then you know Bob Romanski. So we're just like everyone's like coming up to us, and then, then all of a sudden the 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 team starts to come out, and, and Rob's like, "Oh, there's Mark. Let me get you yeah, over, yeah. Mark." Yeah. He, was, he was sitting there like the, on the field, and he's like, he's like Mark, and Mark turns around, and he's like Stu, and like. We got, I gave him a hug and I, I said, I said, Mark, I said, thank you so much for, um, you know, um, you know, letting us, I guess he didn't really let us down here, but I was just like, man, I, I just want to say thank you for, and here's the first thing he said though, when he saw me, he goes, Stu, I love watching your YouTube channel. That was the first thing he said, dog. I was like, oh shit. So that's why every time he sees me, he goes, Oh no, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. 
he said he said I love watching your channel with your crew. So like, yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, yeah. Oh shit, because I was because my nephew at one point was like, Stu, do you think like these coaches and stuff? I said, I know for a fact a lot of them do, right? Yeah, they yeah. want to see what people are saying about them, what the fans da 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 da. But you know, sometimes we mess around with Mark. But that was a dude. First thing he said, Stu, I love I love watching you and the guys on YouTube. I was like, oh shit. So then I, I dap him up and literally we're sitting there talking and the head official is like waiting to talk to Mark before the game about, and just sitting there waiting and Mark's not paying him no mind. But I just said, I said, man, I said, I said, um, I want to let you know that, you know, when you said once a Raider, always a Raider, Mark, I said, I thought it was kind of lip service or whatever until I went out there. And I said, dude, I said, you saved my life. I said, me getting back involved with the Raiders because of what you do for the alumni. And he, he, dude, he said, he said, Stu, dude, I'm like, the strength of our team is the alumni and the tradition and stuff. Oh, and as I'm hugging them, I, I just said, I said, thank you so much for all that you do for the alumni, man. I said, it, it saves lives. And I said, I want to let you know, um, I said, I didn't get a chance to say this to your father, but I said, the way, the way things ended between us, uh, and I'm crying at this point, I said, I want to apologize. You know what I mean? I said, I didn't get a chance to, to before he was, you know, before he died to say that I was sorry for the way I handled things. And, and he goes, and he starts to cry. And he says, he goes, he says, Stu, he goes, thank you so much for saying, he said, you were one of Alice. He, he said, he said, you were, you were one of my dad's favorites. Yeah. And I just said, I said, again, I said, I, I'm so happy to be able to, to tell you, I'm a sorry for that. And, uh, he said, dude, he said, don't worry about it. I appreciate that. So for me to be able to, cause that, again, like I said, I don't, I don't have regrets. I don't, but that was the one thing. Remember I said, if, if I could change anything now, could I, would I go back and change maybe, um, the way I handled it, maybe a little bit, but at that time it was what I thought was right. Right. For yeah. me. To but, but you're, right. A, you're a lot younger too. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, 25, shit 26 years yeah. old, feeling yeah. myself. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. And, but, but, I, but, but again, remember I talked about, I was Al's pick, you know, yeah. once in a while, Al would come in like, we're taking this guy. We're taking yeah. this guy. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, again, like he was, he would, he, that's why I, I think I, and I, and I said, I wish I just would have had a conversation with your dad before just saying, take my contract and shove it up your ass. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I'm like, I don't, I wish I would have had a chance to talk to him. So for me to be able to kind of say it through Mark, like was a chance for me to kind of get that off my chest. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the one thing I said, I wish I would have been able to, to reconnect with Al and just say, you know what, Al, the way I handled that was, was not very good. Yeah. And I apologize that's that's that. a beautiful, that that's, that's a beautiful thing right there, bro. For I don't know how I, I, I can't. And that's the thing I can't, exp I can't give it enough. The way I'm explaining it doesn't do it justice. Yeah, it, it, it was it's a, a level of closure that that you can't really put into words. And I've I've never had anywhere where I, I I thought where I didn't get a chance to make up for something I thought I did. And I'm thinking he's gone. I'm never gonna be able to. Yeah. I can't do anything about it now, right? Yeah. Well, and, I mean, well let, let, you you do though. And see, this is the thing that people don't realize on a daily basis. You do it. I mean, bro, you you come on. Oak Las Vegas, you come on Wasted Talent Show, you come on Hammers, yours, all of us, we're family, but you tell these stories that nobody's ever, ever, ever known. Like you, you're still giving him his praise while he's gone. Like, bro, like this is shit that nobody ever would have knew. Like ever. Like yeah. this is some shit that Al's probably like fucking stew. That's why he was my pick. And, and well, look, look, what did Mark I say? I watch, time. You too. I watch you on YouTube. Like, like come on, man. That, that means that he really values. That's crazy, you. dog. I mean, that. That like, um, he values what you say. He values your opinion. Well, that's what I know. said. I said, you know, I said, Mark, you know, I always got your back, dog. He goes, No, I know, I know. Right. I said, every decision that you make, it, 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 I love every decision you've made. I said, moving to Vegas to to have the new stadium and the free agents, like it, it's no. it's it's amazing. It, you it was vital. We we get accused of being like of working for the Raiders 
Yeah. We like because of the way that we support Mark, we get accused of working for the Raiders, bro. Yeah. All of us support Mark Davis. Yeah. But here's the thing, here's the thing that you guys do though, is 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 for me, if 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 I don't and I, I've I've done this a couple of times where I've made opinions about people and I, I don't I don't know them, right? And, and it's not fair to do. And I've had some where I've talked to some guys, I'm like, man, f I'm like, fuck that dude. And they're like, Stu, dude, I, I've met him. He's cool as hell. And I'm like, you know what? That's not like, why are you saying that? And I'm like, I guess I don't really have a reason to. But then I'm thinking like, if I trust you as a friend and you say he's cool, then I, I'm going to say he's cool. So you guys are trusting me when I say things, right? Like yeah. Yeah. you're trusting in. So yeah. through me, you're getting your opinion on, on him from not only a personal level, but sometimes at a professional level as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I appreciate the fact that you guys like, that's Stu's guy, and I'm gonna follow suit. But you make your own opinions, right? I mean, yeah. but still, to have that—that that means a lot to me because. Um, well, whatever you say, Stu. Even if it's stupid, we got to pay for it because we're your bros. So, <laughs> the same thing with me. If I say some stupid shit, they're gonna be like, "Yo, wasted man." You know, Stu, get your man. Like, you know what I mean? Hey, 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 he had to pay for something dumb that I—I I, was—I was a Josh McDaniel supporter. <laughs> He had to pay for that in his job. <laughs> he just had to pay for it with me right now. I do. I do want to read this right here. Uh, and again, this this Salute goes our brother back. Hammer real quick in the chat too. Salute to Hammer. Oh, Hammer's in here. Yeah. Hey, Hammer, man, pull up on us. Oh, did we? Okay, Demarcus. What did we say? Okay. Salute to Demarcus on the two dollar donation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, but I want to again. I want to read this. And again, remember for from two thousand. Well, since I left the Raiders until 20, until you, you interviewed me that time. Yeah. I had, that was my first time getting back. When, when, when was that? That was 2020, 2019? 20, 20, at the end of 2020, I believe. Somewhere around okay. there. Yeah. And again, I, I get this. And you were hella nervous about doing this shit too. Like you, you were very, you were questioning yeah. anything that had to do with the Raiders because yes. of, because of your exit, your departure. Yes. Yes, yeah. I'm like the fans don't want nothing to do with me. I, they, you know, what I'm saying like, the, why would I go back? Why would I go back to the Raiders? And I remember Isaiah Ekajuba was like, "Stu, shut the fuck up! Like, get over that shit, right?" Yeah. But yeah. this letter right here, I want to just. This is Mark Davis again. This is this is that brick program, right? The bricks that are outside the stadium. Mm -hmm. yep. He says, "Dear Stewart, as you know, we are embarking on a historic." And, and this is what I read on my when you if you go to my page that comes up, I read a portion of this, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. Um, we're embarking. Historic time for the Raiders organization. Our relocation to Vegas has given me the opportunity to honor all Raiders alumni in a special way. The Raiders Foundation developed the, the Raiders Legacy Brick Program, which allows for personalized bricks to be placed at Allegiant Stadium. As a token of my appreciation, I'm gifting each Raiders alumni with a legacy brick that will be installed at the stadium this summer, which I, I have I have that, that brick. Yeah. 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 Um, and then it says... Um, the most valuable asset the Raiders have is its alumni. Your commitment to excellence laid the foundation for our organization's success, both on and off the field. As part of the Raiders family, you can continue to make us proud. Or as or sorry, as part of the Raiders family, you continue to make us proud with your dedication to each other, the organization, and to the community. I look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Once a Raider, always a Raider. Signed, Mark Davis. Right? Yeah. And again, I'm thinking. Yeah, that sounds good, but like that's that's for Marcus Allen, that's for Rich Gannon, that's for like dudes that won Super Bowls or whatever. And when I went out there, like Stu, hold on real quick. I've been to two alumni parties with you back to back years. <laughs> Every time somebody sees Stu, they treat him like a Tim Brown or a Marcus Allen or something like that. Yeah. People are actually actually excited to see Stu. And it's not just because of what he did on the football field. It's because of the person. Because it, bro, certain people just attract energy. You know what I'm saying? And when we're out and about, bro, how many people ran? Like, yeah. everybody. Stu, Stu. Bro, when, when, Chuck, when, when, I surprised, when, I, when, I, when I surprised you with, 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 uh, with C. Wood. Bro, uh, C. Wood seen you. He said, Stewie. Like, remember that? He was like, Stewie. Yeah, remember that? Like, like, Jesus and shit. <laughs> like, well, no. Yeah. And remember, dude, he, we, he stayed for like four and a half hours. Like, he didn't want to Bro, leave. yo, remember we were kicking it, eating the lunch? Whole day. Day. 
Yo, it was dope. I was pissed yeah. I had to go do that interview. I was so mad I had to do that interview. We, we, we drunk him out of uh, his whiskey because we were drinking all them old fashions. That's But that's Charles, man. He, he's he, Stu, he literally is like you. Like, yeah. like this down to earth, you know what I mean? It, he fits in well with all of us because he's just a down to earth dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And really, I mean, if you think about it, though, all the guys you guys met um, at the reunion, was there anyone that was like trying to act like their shit? You know what I'm saying? Like everyone was cool. Like everyone yeah. was, 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 and that's the one thing when you bring these guys back, um, the egos go to the side and we can actually just talk about stuff. Guys don't have to sit there and prove anything, but I want, I do want to say this. Here's, here's another guy that I have a great relationship is, do you guys know a guy named Larry Delson? Why does that sound familiar? So, so, and, and here's again, guys, like, again, I'm, th I'm thinking this. The last name is what? I'll, 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 I'll tell you about the guy. Okay. I will. But again, me and my nephew, bro, are on the 50 yard line. And this, again, I'm thinking this game is a huge fucking game. You know what I'm saying? And like, okay. just the respect, the guys coming up like to us, right? Like New York Pete and, and, and New York Pete. When he was there, he was the guy that got the tickets and the rooms and like yeah, yeah. He, and it was really cool to see him. But a guy named Larry Delson, he, he, and, he's he's a uh, board. He's a he's so a, my dog uh, just knocked down my green screen. So I'm halfway in the locker room and I'm halfway in my living awesome. room. Just awesome. a heads up, y'all. Yeah. yeah, he he's he's a member of the board of directors for the Raiders, FDU guy, Jersey and, and, guy. And he's he said he's he is uh he said he's a trusted advisor of the Davis family for five mm -hmm. decades. And again, he's running up, Stu, man. I'm so good. like, I'm like, I, I, like again. It was just, it was, dude. It was, it was just overwhelming, to be honest with you. It, it was, and it was funny because my, my nephew was, was like, dude. So many people like are like, who the fuck are these dudes? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're they're all looking at us because you know there were Raider fans like, because it was before the crowd came, so they're they're like close to, you know, the where the where the field is or whatever. So they're all kind of staring and stuff like that but people are thinking like dude what the fuck is this dude like coming up like everyone's coming up and talking to mark and all this shit and yeah. like i said before once the team was out there like my nephew's dabbing it up with crosby and like dudes are coming to the sideline and stuff and then they all went in and then it's just me and my nephew like literally on the sideline on the benches with just us and we're just standing there and no one dude no one no one told us to leave or nothing but i'm like why don't we you know i don't i don't want to over overstay our welcome so we ended up going up but dude it was to be able to talk to all those guys and the respect that i got like it it felt good you know what i'm saying because sometimes you just never know you know what i'm saying like yeah you don't want to assume that you're you're you know you're i get it man i get it and especially on here right i mean because yeah. we, we 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 have hot points at times right you know what i'm saying we're we're, we're critical of things so you never know like how someone reacts or whatever. So Bro, I was so pissed about my, about Sunday. I didn't even do a show yesterday because I was so mad. I, I, I probably would have came. <laughs> I probably went on the live and lost my mind because because. Well, and and that's why after the game I'm like, I don't even want like. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna like. Hey, you know, and all it's like, dude, because I was upset too. You know, yeah. what I'm saying I'm like, yeah. man, you know, I'm like, I'd rather just, you know, let them do it because I mean that again, like I said, that was a huge loss. But again, dude, like. Mark Davis and what he does and what his father did, it, it truly like saves lives and changes lives. Like yeah. it really does. And 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 Mark obviously is is different because Al would never be on the sideline like talking to people before a game. Like you don't fuck with Al during the game, bro. Yeah. Like yeah, you know I'm saying like even I remember there were a couple times in the hotel. Like I'm with my. You know, we're going down to the buses and he'd like come in with his security team and you know Willie Brown always always had his wife would always walk his wife up to the plane and stuff like that and you're just like going oh what the fuck what am I supposed to say right here like uh yeah. <laughs> and you just never like you didn't know what to say right but but Mark um the way that he handles things obviously is different but I'm telling you like I said that dude knows he he has a pulse on everything with the Raiders. I mean, again, yeah, he's looking at he's 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 dude. This this think about how busy he is. Motherfucker has time to sit and watch podcasts and see what the Raider Nation is talking about because he cares. He wants to know like what are people thinking? Because yeah. when he makes a decision, I guarantee you he's getting advice from everybody. 
and we had that conversation waste. I mean, we, it was funny because every time I see Mark, it's always love and it's the smiles and, 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 but it's like, that's his business. So he's going to keep his, he's going to keep his, his finger on the pulse of what's going on with his business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm not shocked at all that, that he, he watches us and sees what we do because that's his business and, and he loves the Raiders. But conversely, people with that amount of money pay people to do that shit for them. Yeah. No, the yeah. Fact that the fact that he's yeah. actually doing yeah. it yeah. means a lot. Yeah. And I think too much is said about how he doesn't know football. It's not that he doesn't know football. He doesn't know it the way his old man does. Yeah. And and that's and, and I think that's the and, one. And most 99.9% .9 of people don't. Yeah. So I think that's the one thing where Mark needs to say to himself, hey, man, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. He needs to give himself a little grace. It's like, yo, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to make this decision or that decision and be okay with it. Mm -hmm. But you know why he's okay with his decisions? Is because he takes, he, he gets, he, he, and again, he's the one who's going to make the final decision, but he's going to, he's going to take a look and he's going to ask people and get different opinions, right? He's not just going, again, like some coaches do, right? They hire people that know less than them so that, they make every decision. No one's going to question them. Mark has 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 again the confidence to ask people's opinions. Oh yeah, look, and Stu, when you see him with Chuck up there yeah. in the suite, and you see with him with Marcel and those guys, he ain't just hanging out with them. He's picking their brains. Yeah. He's I saying, mean, "What do you think about thirty four? What do you think about whoa, whoa, whoa? What what should we do? He's picking their brains. I just got off a podcast or a, a YouTube channel with these 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 two Purdue guys that are trying to do a a, a Purdue football deal, right? And you're asking mm -hmm. me about Ryan Walters, the coach and his staff. And I said one of the things was I said, you know, we have re like for one, me and Chike O'Keefe, we have resources in the Purdue football program. You know, Jim mm -hmm. Everett, Rod Woodson, uh, Drew Brees, uh, 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 Kyle Orr, and you know. Uh, Chris uh, Dishman, uh, guys uh, that want to get involved, right? And I'm thinking yeah. we're right here. We don't we don't want a job, we don't want to take credit, but you would think reach out to some of us and just say, Hey, what yeah, how, you guys, right. you know, how, how are things going? Or or hey, you know what, Stu? Hey, we're coming in playing a team like this. What what do you think about this? And I'm going, they never they never reached out once. And if they did reach out and, and they still fit in, you know, we only had five, four or five wins, right? It, it was a it was a down year for us. Yeah. At least we can go well. He's he's at least he's he's doing everything he can. But mm -hmm. when I look at that, I'm going, here's a guy who probably thinks, you know what, I don't want to reach out because then I'm gonna look like I don't know what's going on, or I, I don't want to give someone else credit or whatever. It's like, dude, it's not even about that, man. Like yeah, yeah. Pride, cometh yeah. pride cometh before the fall. Pride cometh before the fall. it's a very, very prideful thing there. Like most programs that are successful, they always reach back. To the to the greats of the program. That's what college football is built on. A I great college you. program is built on the shoulders of the greatness that came before them. So yeah. when you try to come in and totally jettison yourself from that, that's when you fall into problems. The, the reason why the University of Miami was so great at, in the times where they were great is because they just kept building on that legacy. Yeah, they kept building, and it just seems like lately they haven't been able to recapture that. Right. Well, I, I but as Purdue guys, you, you, you're a defender, right? Wasted. Like you, you would assume you see Stu's name all over those walls and you're going to say, I want to get tied in with him. I, let me get, let me get, let me get next to him and ask, what do I need to do to take your place? Like, what do I need to do to get even close to where you are? Like, well, you know what I mean? Because I'm well, still, well, and again, and again, but you were pissed off about somebody about a year and a half ago. And I'm not going to say any names, but you were like, What's up with these young, with this generation? Like, what, like, like these guys won't reach out. You know what I mean? Like, you live on on campus, so you're like, dude, I'm right down the street. I forgot. Who, oh, you know what? No, I, I I know exactly who it was, and I'm not gonna say who it was. Yeah. But you were upset. You were like, what, what the fuck? Like, what, what's up with these kids? It's just it's we live in a social well, media. And, and here's the deal. Like, I I and and, and I had to go over, and he I had to go over there and and introduce myself, and I I would just because I had great game coach da da da. But even after the even after this season, you know, when they beat Indiana, I said, "Congratulations on winning your first bucket pass." I said, "When you got time, which they ain't going to no bowl game, right?" So they had a they had a you know a long December. I said, "I'd love to take you out to lunch or dinner just to talk shop." Yeah. No, no, no response. But yeah, I text Rob Ryan, who's flying into Indy to play a game that's going to depend on a freaking playoff game. Yeah. And he's sitting here worried that, hey, did you make it down on the field? Did you come over here? Like, 
that's the thing. Like, I can compare it and go, what are you doing, bro? Like, that, like, these are dudes in the NFL, and not only dudes, but guys that are pit, like pivotal guys in the NFL. And, 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 dude, they, they don't have those type of, well, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, no, your, your attitude normally determines your latitude. And a lot of times, man, when, when you're not the kind of guy that's open to that kind of stuff, man, that goes to show you all you need to know. And I don't want to, I want to bag on the Purdue guy, but it's, listen, the fact that there was no bowl game this year is, is, is very telling because we all know when we were growing up, there were not that many bowls. No. no. Now, now they got a bowl for everything. They got, they, they got the, the freaking. Everybody the, feel important. Well, bro, they, they, they got the Costco bowl. They got this. <laughs> they, they, they got the, 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 the Quaker Oats. Granola bar bowl. Yeah. They, they got a bowl for everything. But yeah. listen to this, though. Here's the deal. He inherited a pretty good team from Brom. Last year, just a year ago, we were in the Big Ten Championship beating Michigan at halftime. Now they went to roll us a little bit. But, like, you're telling me, like, and now you, you get a team. And, and, and here's the other thing I just found out. And tell me what you think about this. 20 guys are in the transfer portal from Purdue. Wow. 20? Wow. 20. Well, that's like a third of the team, bro. You're gonna have to roster. That's not a good <laughs> sign, right? That's a third because on a college roster, what is it like 80 guys? Um, so so, so I think it's more I, than the NFL, right? I think it's you you have about wow. 100 scholarship guys and maybe about 115 guys total. There's there's quite a right, few. So more. You got all the red shirts and stuff yeah. like that. So walk-ons, yeah. Walk-ons. Oh, so I, I didn't even calculate them. I'm just talking about like 80 to 90 guys, right? You take you take, I think. Six, I think 75 guys are like on the game day. But 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 that's damn near half an NFL roster. Yes. In the transfer. Yes. But, but Brad, look this. at it from this perspective. 75 guys that are actively playing. If 20 of them are leaving, yeah. bro, Go these on. are guys that would probably be playing next year because the seniors are, 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 are elevating. So that's yeah, that's worse. That's like a third of the team, bro. And you're thinking this, look at the teams coming in. Like you have opportunity to play USC, UC, like you're you're in one of the premier conferences. And you want to be on national TV playing the best, right? And you're going to be like, "Nah, dude, I'm out." So, so how? So that that's why they should have you, Drew, and Rod, literally walking in and meet, handshaking everybody, and get you guys involved as much as you can because that's a huge man. That's crazy. That's what I would do. That's, that's crazy. what I would do. But then, because here's the other deal: if you're just going to show me, I'm going to be your biggest advocate. I'm going to yeah. give you like, I'm going to now. I'm going to be. I'm going to be more critical. I am. Yeah. Yeah, I just but, am because but you know, I know you're not because I'm going again. You're not doing everything you can to be the best coach and put these kids in positions. If I know there's a, and I talk to all these dudes, dude, they don't ever call me. Yeah. I love I love for them to call me. And see, that's the difference between no disrespect to y'all. I'm a, I'm a matter, but with, with Purdue, but the oh, Raiders, no, no, no. trust me, I, I I can't stand this shit. I'm gonna talk to the athletic director, dude, because I'm fucking pissed. Trust but me. bro, when we go to those alumni parties. It could be a seventh rounder. That motherfucker gets treated like Timmy. Like, like they treat everybody. Like you could tell some of those guys, and this is no disrespect. That is the biggest thing that happened to them that year. Mm -hmm. And you could tell. And they are taking care of wasted. I'm telling you, next year, slide out there with us, bro. It's you crazy. It. Dude, it's I'm unbelievable. You, everybody is so like even me, bro. Like, if you don't watch the pod, which some of those guys walked up, hey man, I watch your pod, I love your show. It was great. But, like, most people don't know who I but I got my badge on. Yo, man, it's good to yep. see you. Blah, blah, blah. They treat Tiff. 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 I mean. Yeah, my, my wife came in. Stu uh, got Tiff in. We, we're kicking it. Hey, no, no, no. Everybody so is treated equally. That's why, I, that's why I, I'm, I'm so happy to have that relationship because I'm looking at somebody, who, again, like Mark Davis, who you would think, again, like, like, you, like you said, wasted. A lot of dudes have dudes to, to talk to the alumni and to, to do that type of stuff. Right. So I'm looking if Mark Davis can fucking like reach out and say he wants to talk and this dude at Purdue won't do it. Like, bro, like you ain't right, bro. Like you, what are you, what are you doing? But, but you not even, that shows you how humble he is anyways, because a, a billionaire doesn't usually walk up to somebody. No. Hey, I, I watch your show. I enjoy it. Hell no. Well, they're going to keep that. You think Jay-Z would have did that way? Say, hell no. No, no look, yeah, I've been around Jay-Z so several crazy. times in my life. He definitely wouldn't do that. Yeah, at all. So, but for, for Mark to do that, you just, he's a real motherfucker, bro. Like, it, it, that's, that's, oh, you went mute. You went mute. A lot of guys would just do it just to flex, to be like, who? Yeah. Like, you ain't on my level, dude. Like, who, who the fuck are you? And especially this, I'm thinking this. Here's what I thought. 
I'm like, oh shit, Mark's probably probably a little mad the way I handle things with his pops. You know what I'm saying? That's why the first time when I saw it, it was quick. So I'm like, and then for him to be like, Stu, I, I thank you so much for saying that, but you know what I mean? Like stuff happens. And well, again, you don't, Mark, you don't think Mark's know he know he knows his dad better than anybody. He knows how he is. I, you know, I know, but still, I mean, you're, you're you're sitting being disrespectful to your pops. No, but but I, you weren't you weren't disrespectful though. Like like you weren't disrespectful, Stu. You just you were a rookie in a situation. Well, not a rookie, but you were you on a rookie contract I, in a yeah. situation where you're trying to you're trying to re up. You're trying to stay out there. And, and, and I and guarantee you, know, it was probably it was more Lane Kiffin than it was Mark or Al. Oh, and, and and look at him. Look yeah. at him, Lame Kiffin, L A M E, yeah. Lame. But again, that that's why I always like. Remember how I say like certain guys don't need to act a certain way. Yeah. You know and like yeah. some dudes who don't call, they don't fans or they, they act like this. And I'm like, guys don't need to act that way. And I know they don't because you have dudes that definitely would, you would get a pass to act that way. Cause you would think, and you don't need to be that way. You don't need, you don't need to be a dickhead like that. You, you don't need to be to where uh, you think that, Oh, I don't need, I don't need no one's opinion on anything. I don't need da 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 da. Bro, uh, listen, all those old colloquialisms ring true. Pride cometh before the fall. Yeah. It is, it is the truth. And 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 this is an old country that me and Grab were talking about this earlier today. Early today. <laughs> my, my mother used to say, you get more flies with sugar than shit, honey. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know how true that is because I see a lot of shit on flies. <laughs> on flies around shit. I don't know, but she said, you get more flies with sugar and shit. The thing is this, man. You know how much money Mark spends every year to bring everybody into town or, or, or to, to make that happen? That's a lot of money, man. Like, that's a lot of money to do what he does year in and year out. You don't oh, hear for the alumni? Are you oh, kidding me? Insane, bro. Hey, like, you don't see that with other teams, bro. No, no you, you don't no, see that. None. 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 Trust me. Other teams are are following suit. I was actually surprised. I, I would get game invites from the alumni from Washington. I'm like, oh, shit. Okay. But again, not only that, Four full time staff members. He's paying paying positions to run the alumni. Going from when I first went a couple years back to 190 guys up to when we went, there's like 670. And again, bro, he rents out. Oh yeah, night. No, 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 bro. That, that last one was some Illuminati shit. The the, 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 the machine moving and remember that shit too. We were sitting there like, what the fuck is going Pay for on? hotel rooms and yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. To rent out the entire wind suite and have it, and, and again, I think that's insane. The rooftop, the, the rooftop, Stu, the rooftop. That was it. The, all those cigars. That all was the, all the food, cars. drinks. I mean, yeah. cigar rolling. I mean, you're yeah. talking millions, millions yeah, easy. of dollars. Easy I, on something that you would think, well, that has no effect on on the the, the organization. It's like, dude, it's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? There's so much that <clears throat> that goes into it, and again. Yeah, when you talk about free agency, and guys are like, "Yo," and they come and like, "That's how you treat like, that's how you treat your players," and that's how like that 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 goes into it, man. That really does. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have I'm a. Be, I'm gonna be real, bro. Like, I've always been proud to be a Raider. I was born one. I, I've always, but going out there and seeing that, it, it makes you appreciate even more. Yeah, You're like wow, like they actually give a fuck about us back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, like. Because even, even it's not a thankless thing, bro. Like being okay. a Yankee fan, because I'm a Yankee fan as far as baseball goes. The Yankees don't give a good goddamn about their fans. Yeah. I'm gonna say that right now. They don't care. They'll sit up there. Now, George Steinbrenner did. He's yeah. another guy born on the fourth of July, just like Al Davis, right? Yeah. And they, they were very fond of each other. They were friends. The thing about it is now the owner of the Yankees, now his son, his son is perfectly fine yep. filling that stadium up every year, and he doesn't care whether they he's not gonna spend Every, you know the world to win a championship. He's no. not. He doesn't care. Yeah. And 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 I'm gonna say that the Raiders. You know that Mark is trying to win, and that's why I love Mark. I don't want us to have an owner that come in here that looks as the Raiders is a tax write off. Yep. I don't want that, bro. The and Raiders. Are do. Like, the the Raiders are almost like being part of a fraternity. For some people who didn't go to college, it is like being part of fraternity. You can be you could be any. And I'm a guy that's that's in the East Coast, bro. Yep. I walk into the store. Yep. I was shopping on New Year's Eve, bro. I know what, yep. I got my Raiders shit on. Yo! Yep. Yep. Raiders! 
Marcus, man. Like, they're like, yo, what's up, but, bro? But you know what's funny? Mark is one of them type of guys that if he just seen you walking in Target, he's by himself. You're by yourself and you got a bunch of Raiders shit on. He gonna, he gonna go up to you and say, hey, listen, you want to take a picture? Let's take a picture. Yeah. That's who Mark is. Like, like real talk, bro. I'm telling you, like, you get around him, you feel that energy. Even when you see him in the stadium and he's walking around, he stops for everybody to take a picture because he, you know, he know he knows that as much as he loves the alumni, and I know a lot of people, even a lot of our fan base think that Mark doesn't give a fuck about us because of the Oakland situation and moving to Las Vegas. I'm gonna be real, a lot of that is because he gives a fuck. I, yeah. I understand that that leaving Oakland hurt a lot of us. Me being born and raised in Northern California, still you playing in Oakland. Yeah. It yeah. means a lot, right? But at the end of the day, we deserve that stadium. And I know right now it gets packed out by other people and shit. I understand that. But we deserve that, bro. Like, we deserve that look. We deserve to get quality players because a lot of people didn't want to go out there because of this, the, 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 the stadium, the, the fucking practice facility. Oakland, you know what I'm saying? The money that you had to spend to live out there. It's the like, bro, like- it's The most expensive real estate in the country. Right? Yes, period. Yes, you know, in period. the country. You, you, yes. you know, I, I saw a house the other day because- you know, I'm, I'm in the real estate. You guys know, and, yeah, and yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying to get west, trying to get a piece of property out west. And my wife showed me this house, and it was a Cape Cod. Graph, you know, like those little houses that are in Jersey when we yeah, were riding right. through those little ones. Yeah, it's a little Cape Cod house for 1.4 million dollars in San Francisco. Crazy, easy, crazy. 1.4 mil. Crazy, yeah. unbelievable. It's probably a one and a half, kind of one and a half room type type shit. Graph, it looked like that house on Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Yeah. It's and that's crazy. the thing, guys. Again, the NFL, as far as contracts go, they go, you know, as far as what, what a guy's worth, they go by positions, but they don't they don't factor in where the that contract's being being made. Yeah. yeah you know, again, I look at Devontae Adams. I, I, I think the 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 uh Green Bay was maybe seven million dollars more, but he'd be making less because of Wisconsin state tax. Yeah, right. And yep. again, when you talk about bringing guys in to Oakland and you go to that stadium, like it was dude, I'm telling you it, the, like, the interior and stuff, man, again, like when it would rain, bro, they would have buckets in our locker room to catch like rain yeah. coming in. And mm -hmm. then you look at our facilities, bro. Like it was, the a, it was a room at Oco look like, like, it, it looked like a, like a holding cell at a jail. I'm gonna be real, bro. Go to Harbor Harbor Way, bro. It was worse over there than it was at Oco. Twelve Twenty Harbor Bay Park. We we, we didn't have a cafeteria. Nasty. We didn't even have a sauna. Like, dude, like it was bad, dude. Like yeah. bad. And you're telling me you're bringing guys in from when you looked at other facilities and they're gonna be like, and I'm making, and I'm gonna make less money. And then the wife's gonna go, I don't, I don't want to take my kids into. And, and again, I'm not. I don't want to. Oh, we love the town, bro. Like, 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 yeah. Bro, I've been there grew up like out there. So, like, I love Oakland, but let's keep it a buck. When you have your from a business standpoint, like even right now, I, I'm more comfortable taking my kid. Well, I, I, I'd be mad comfortable taking my kids to Oakland to a game because I, I wish yeah. they could have seen that. I yeah. wish they could have seen because when you get there, it's all love. It's all yeah. love. But when you step outside that gate and you you get on that Bart or you you, you slide one street over and you in the middle of East Oakland, shit get a little real. Right, but even 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 even, even the uh, practice facility, that nasty ass hotel oh. behind. Remember that oh, yeah, nasty yeah, hotel? Yeah, the, the extended stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're right guys. behind it. That shit nasty work. Well, yeah. even even dude, even the 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 Oakland uh, where we stayed at before games. I don't uh, right by the airport. There was yes. a hill in or something, bro. Like, yeah, it was bad. So again, so now now you look at it and and you look at in Vegas the facilities that they have and mm. and, and all of that stuff. It, it again, like I told you, every year when uh, Gene Upshaw, God rest his soul, who was the president of our union, would come in and show the, the revenues of each team. Right at the bottom, the Raiders. Bottom, no higher than thirty. I, the last I knew, it was and then like again, the, the Chargers and then the Raiders. Like it was bad, bro. Like six hundred and sixty million dollars it was worth, and at the time, like I think Washington was always number one. Like I think they're the first team to be worth over a billion. Now you look at our, our earnings, we're, we're in the top three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's yeah. more money for Mark to do a lot of shit to bring in the best players. And, you know, the best and, it, and it's crazy because Libby Schaff and City of Oakland has made a concerted effort to get out of the business of sports teams. Terrible. And, and, and listen, I understand it because if you look at California as a whole, they have the most professional sports teams per capita in any other state. It's the biggest state. So, you know, you got the Kings, you, you had the A's, you had the Raiders, you had the, the, 
The Rams at one point. Sharks. Chargers. Lakers. Lakers. Everybody. Lakers. Yeah, Lakers. Uh, Every, Angels. The, 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 the Angels. The, the Anaheim Ducks. The Padres. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. so many teams, bro. So I understand it. I understand it if you're a politician, right? And what they were trying to do is they're trying to make Oakland the new Silicon Valley. Even though Silicon Valley is close, they were trying to make that a new Silicon Valley. Google was going to come. They were going to make that the whole and – I, and I understand it. But from a fan standpoint, it sucks. McAfee, but, right? McAfee was a big computer yeah, yeah. business, right? I yeah, mean, that was, yeah. our, that was our stadium at one point. Yep. I know yeah. they were so, close. So they were trying to do that, and that's one of the reasons why – the Warriors are no longer the, on that, that plot of land anymore. They're going to San Francisco, and the A's are moving. And the rest of Libby Schaaf kind of accomplished what she wanted. The thing is, now out on Las Vegas, what that does is it makes us one of those desirable organizations, even when we're bad. Because I remember, like, the Indominic and Sue situation. People knew that Indominic and Sue were considering three teams and the teams he was considering because of how fiscally responsible he is are teams without a state income tax. Yeah. And that's why when he first left Detroit, he went down and played in Miami because yeah. Florida has no income tax. Yep. That's huge. That that is almost a that's almost an unfair advantage. And then if you look at the property taxes in Las Vegas, if you look at you know the yeah. style of living Talk in of Las living. Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Every all of that stuff gives the Raiders a decided advantage. Now it's a football issue now. Yeah. When the peripheral issues line up, that's great. Great facilities. Great training. Owner has money. Owner wants to win. You, you have selling points now. Yes. Yeah. Selling points. And and if you're the man in Vegas, you're not only an NFL superstar, you're you're a celebrity. Yeah. You're yeah. you are a celebrity. So yeah. I mean yeah. off the field. Yeah. Uh, acquisitions that you can make, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and like you said, having things to do, right? Yeah. Having, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like the Bay Area, there was a lot, but I mean, but still, like, like, why wouldn't you want to go to Vegas? I mean, yeah. like, you got to be kidding me. The weather, the weather's beautiful, place. right? I mean, Henderson area is a great place to raise a family. Like, it's yeah. and again, so, he's, so how, how much money do you think California took from you, income tax wise? <sighs> Well, you know what? I actually know that number because me me applying for Social Security, they go back and they look at how much money that you were taxed on. Yeah. I want to say, and I, again, I, I, this is this is close. I want to say about four and a half million dollars. That's fucking now now go on now go what on. You, for free for for free go on now, I don't, whatever. It's, Hey, and I mean, yeah, I that you can do some write-offs and da da da, but but I got audited for my rookie year in 04 in 2007, and they the IRS lady didn't even let me write off my agent fees That's or like cool. my travel out there. She's like, No, you're telling me they don't pay for travel. I'm like, No, they don't. Yeah. No. Yeah. And dude, they froze my accounts and I had to send the money back and then try to recoup it. So they even took more, dude. So yeah, you're talking four and a half just to just to live, and not only that. When, like, for instance, when I bought my house, dude, it was right there in 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 Alameda, right down the street. You know, just a, a 1,200 square foot home, mm -hmm. small living room, one car garage. The backyard was smaller than this damn desk right here, and dude, it was seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars back yeah. in two thousand four. So, 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 so it's crazy because it's like, yo, you're not thriving, you surviving. Yeah, dude, yeah. seriously. You survive. You just a normal. You just a normal bro, joke. Here, 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 let me tell you this. You might, as well be, you might as well be a rapper, Stu. Bro, let, <laughs> real shit. <laughs> no, here's the thing. Hey, look, <laughs> man, hey, look, man. Here was Al. Here was Al's big. Here was Al's big. Oh, let me just hold on. So brass. So when I said Rod Martin, not the not the man. player, the trainer. So, um, but um, shit. What was I just gonna say? Oh, when I had so Al's big thing, he signed everyone to five year deals. Like, mm -hmm. at the, even a third round guy, you should sign only a three year deal, and then after that, it should be two. But the big, the big uh, draw was we get a bigger sign in bonus, right? Yeah. So my sign in bonus was a million bucks. Okay. So training camp, I hadn't signed yet because we were because my agent has a five year deal, and, and Ben Dogra from 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 SFX went to CAA. Ben Dogra, Mark Hellman, Ben Dogra at one point was the biggest agent. Breast love the guy, love him, yeah. love him, love him. He was putting escalators in years four and five. So that's what was taking so long for me. So right, it was before the first practice. I hadn't signed yet. So when I signed, they they hand you a check, like literally a check. In my mind, 
I'm going, I'm about to get a million dollar check today, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't know shit. I don't know FICA and state tax and all this shit. I'm thinking I'm going to get a million dollars. So what they do is they give you half now, then like five weeks later, they give you another half, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, shit, okay, I'm going to get 500K. I opened up that check, dude. It was like, and again, I, I don't want to make this sound like I'm like not a, but it was like 310,000 bucks. And I remember Cody Spencer was my roommate who ended up from North Texas, who ended up playing for um, the Jets and the Nashville, had a, ended up having a good career. I'm like, yeah, yeah. What the fuck is my, like, where, where's my money? Yeah. Cause I'm thinking this at that time, and I'm, I'm under a rookie contract. So my game checks were, I don't know. Like I'm taking home like maybe eight grand, I think, on a Tuesday. That's fucking crazy. I'm trying to buy a house. My, my mortgage is $4,200. I'm saying, I'm thinking like, I, I don't even have enough money to really like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm going, I just bought a house at 760,000 and my sign-in bonus is 300 and, you know, 310. And that's still, I got to pay agent fees on that still yet. So yeah, I'm going, I think if I was in Vegas, what it would be, it'd be a lot yeah. more and my house would be cheaper. Right, so that check would have been like five hundred and eighty thousand. <laughs> Even when you buy a car, bro, the 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 zip code that you're in, the title and insurance goes up through the roof too. Yeah. So, like, dude, like you're just you're kind of getting screwed, man. You really are. That's oh, look, man. When you live in these expensive states, man, I live in. I happen to live in one, you know. Yeah. And Grab and I talk about it all the time when he when he's come because he's come to visit since I've known him like twice, right? And every time we strolling through, we be rolling through New York, we go through the bridge. He's always like, man, this is fucking beautiful. Or like when we be in Jersey, he look over into the city. He's like, I love this shit. You're paying for it. He, he, he always says to me, yo, wait shit, if it wasn't so fucking expensive, I would move up here. Yeah. But, it, it, but it is. It's, it's, it's the worst, bro. I left California for that same reason. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it, like uh, when people come and visit, man, this is so beautiful. It, 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 it look good. It definitely look good, but when you hear, it ain't it ain't like that. It's not only that though, but again, just just to go buy a gallon of milk and gas, and again, your car insurance, your house insurance, to get to get anything done, that it's gonna cost a lot more because that dude has costs he needs to cover, right? So any yep. anytime you get something done at your house, it's gonna be through the roof, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. the cost of things are just more expensive. Still, yeah. I would tell you, I would tell you that time where I had to do storm duty in in, in, in uh, Hawaii. No, uh uh, <laughs> bro. It, it, this is like 2003. Oh, wait, hold on one sec. Let me just say, hey, thank you very much, Richard Twitchell, for coming in. I appreciate it. Thank you to the 335 people in here. And I do want to say thank you, Tyler Truth. If everybody could go and, and look up Tyler Truth on uh, Spotify, on YouTube, or uh, on, on iTunes, he is a local um performer. Uh, he does hip hop, but now he's into country. Uh, very, very good artist, a guy I want to have on the show and a guy actually, I want to introduce you to him, uh, graph. Uh, but he's, he's in the room, Tyler truth guys, look him up, dude. Very, very talented young man. So Salute, thank you very much for being in here. Salute. Okay. Sorry guys. We, thanks for all the comments. Um, hold on. Let me just get this one. So, uh, Salute, another one, uh, brass muse in 81. Thank you so much. Oakland Alameda County Coliseum was a legendary name and I wish, Allegiant had Coliseum somewhere in the name. Al Davis Memorial Coliseum would have been awesome. That I did like Coliseum. That was pretty dope. That was Bro, pretty dope. James said that rent and I used to live in Antioch, like by by Deer Valley uh, High School. I cannot believe that shit. Forty, he said, what almost five thousand dollars? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Hell Antioch, yeah. Bro, and, and you're and do you understand what Antioch looks like? Like there ain't shit in Antioch, bro. Like it's thirty minute drive to Oakland. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you still got to drive somewhere to, to get somewhere where it's popping at. Antioch, Pittsburgh area, there ain't shit to do out there. That's crazy. Gruesome. Yeah, that, that's Newsome. up in the hills. It's just, it's just mountains up there. Yeah, that's boy, true. gruesome Newsome, man. That's bananas, bro. That's Hold bananas. on. One last thing. I want to. Okay. Thank you, LA Crash Dog Gunny. Our guy. I, I can't wait to leave SoCal. I can't even retire because everything is so expensive and taxes are so high. It's crazy. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. And then I'm thinking this. I remember going down and I'm like, I'm paying you know, all this money, right. Or, or going shopping and to buy a, a, a shirt, you know, 150 bucks. And I got homeless people pissing and doing drugs outside on the street. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck, bro? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Like, dude, are you kidding me? Yeah. I'm paying this much. And I got down the street. There's a whole park filled with homeless people shooting up needles and shit. Like yeah, right down the street. 
What the, you think I lived in like in a very bad part of town? Like, well, no, I live on the blade in Sacramento, and Bro. people know people know what that means. The blade. The, where, where all the prostitutes are, Stockton Boulevard, bro. We would walk outside, see needles, uh, chipped off hills yeah. and yeah. shit. And we spending crazy money to live in that little spot right there. Yeah. In the hood. It's, it's nasty work. It's just nasty work. Never bro, get it. It's, it's, bro, man, it's unbelievable, man. Texas, unbelievable. Texas is where it is. And that's why I understand where, why Stu never left where he is. I love it, bro. <laughs> I get it. Bro, I get it. Us, us being able to come, like, I'm so happy that I'm from a Midwestern blue collar area and went to produce so I can, I can retire here because I could, I could only imagine guys that have to retire in like big major cities. Like where, again, where you kind of, they, you kind of have to like keep up that yeah. kind of lifestyle a little bit. Like yeah. you don't give the fuck what you drive down here or what you wear or, or, yeah. or, or whatnot. And, and, and the cost of living is down like, and it's safe. It's quiet. Like I'm very fortunate to be able to retire here in Indiana. Then like, yeah. And again, we loved California. We did. We enjoyed our time there. Uh, you know, we love going up to Sacramento and Napa Valley and San Jose and, and, and San Francisco yeah. and, you know, Dublin and, you know, San Ramon and all this stuff. But to raise a family and do things, it's just, it's. Well, even, Chuck, even Chuck went to Orlando, like Orlando, yeah. like and, yeah. and, and Chuck, if he wants to, he can live in New York City or oh. Los Angeles or some shit like that. He's out the way. You know what I'm saying? Like. It just man, the, the the quality of living, man. That's what, especially at our age, bro. We 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 older. We're a little older. That's what it's about. Pe peace of mind. So again, we're talking about buying a house. Think about trying to run a professional team and own a stadium and do all this shit that cost. Yeah. Like, yeah. You'd be you'd be going like you. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> hey, I definitely listen to Wu Tang, bro. I'm <laughs> laughing at. That's what I'm laughing at. Yo, you so, ain't lying, bro. bro. I used to be in sack with the with the with the goggles. There was one Wu Tang store on in 29th Street in the middle of the hood, and I was I think I was the only person that bought shit there. So yes, bro, it, the it, it's just crazy, man. Like when I think about California, bro, and I you know talk about the governor and all that stuff. <laughs> it's 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 like man, I it's not about the tax because California tax have always been high, right? Oh, the tax, they've always been high. Even when Ronald Reagan was the governor, right? Yeah, but, but it's it's about the fact of what they're doing with the homeless situation there. Nasty so that's why I call dude gruesome Newsome because it was a beautiful place, and you walk around and you're trying to walk around a place like San Francisco where it's the highest real estate in the country, yep. and you have people shooting up on the sidewalks and yep. people taking dumps everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's that's something that bro, they have an app in San Francisco bro. called it's called like the dump app or some shit where it shows a, you where homeless people be shitting at next to a Bentley dealership. And shit, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, it's like you can't have that, man. It, it, it is look that I'm I don't I don't like to get into politics and stuff, but you can't get you can't have that, man. You can't be so like it's like you can. It's bad to be too right, and it's bad to be too left. We got to start bringing this country back into the middle somewhere and start yeah. having some sense because it's bad to be well, too liberal and it's bad to be too oppressive okay. as far as okay. that. But you can't have people taking dumps in a beautiful place like California. Bro, you know what's so fucked up is, but it's a mindset. Like even in California, you know, I've told you, bro, but some of my best friends that I've grown up with are homeless right now, living in tents and shit. I'm like, move out to Texas. Let's get you right. Nah, I'm going to stay out here. I'm cool. I'm like, bro, that's cool. <laughs> what the fuck type time yeah, we on right now? And it's crazy because people from over here will go as far as their, you know, their, their, their talents will take them. They'll go west. So they can just be homeless in good weather. Yeah, yeah. And you know, hey, if you cool with that, hey, more power to you. Man. Yeah, man. Hey, like, that's crazy you, that you bring that up because I remember seeing like homeless people in Detroit. I'm like, bro, you are. That's a hard like, way to go, bid. Yeah, hey, bro, like, and in Detroit, like, yo, right yeah, now it's like, twenty. It's twenty nine degrees outside. <laughs> it get colder at night. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, that's tough. I, said, I said, listen, listen, bro. I remember it was this homeless dude, bro. <laughs> And I used to see him all the time. This homeless dude when I used to, when I used to live in Newark. And his, he had a chick with him all the time, bro. And I said, bro, I don't give a shit what you do. That bitch is up under a bridge with you, brother. It is 15 degrees outside. You better not never leave her, bro. Ever. Bro, she I told you. under a bridge with you, brother. Bro, I told you that one time. I slithered, I slithered through uh, uh, Detroit. My pops was showing me where he's from. Bro, we're riding through. He said, I'm going to go show you Marvin Gaye house. I'm like, oh, shit, he grew up over here. Woo, woo, woo. Bro, we're driving, and it's half a house, right? Half a house. One, half of the house is outside. Half of the house is inside. 
Bro, these motherfuckers is sitting on the couch playing yeah. a video game. Oh, yeah. The TV's outside, and they're inside the house playing a video game. With a Cadillac in the driveway. Bro, I was like, you know what? Yeah, there's some different shit, bro. <laughs> they'll, 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 be whole, they'll, they'll be whole blocks gone. Just like that. Gone. Yeah. There's not, shit nothing. Wild. Gone. Shit wild. And that's the thing. Detroit, because it's all up I-75, Detroit, Flint, and Saginaw. It's just Flint's a smaller Detroit. Saginaw's a smaller Flint. Yeah. It's, it's, it's that same that same – that same type of mentality, dude. Bro, it, it's sad. I, I, I was, I was, bro. I was literally, I was shocked when you know I had the, you know, years ago. I, I was, I was in Hawaii for like, like almost a month, and I was just shocked. I was like, I don't see how anybody can make it out here because there's nothing really to do. You know what I mean? As far as work wise, right? It's just <laughs> hotels and shit like that, right? And 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 if you don't, if you don't work for one of the, and you're not gonna make a whole lot of money, right? And it's like everything is so expensive, bro. It, it was, bro. It was like it was yeah. like thirty dollars for for a pizza. It was ridiculous, man. Like milk was like nine dollars a gallon. It's, it's 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 just bad, man. And it's like when you sit up here and when you look, and you look at where things are going, it's getting like that every part of the country, and yeah. nobody nobody can 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 outwork their problems. You you got people that are making oh. well over a hundred thousand dollars a year. They, they're they're barely getting by, yeah. you know, and, and we wonder why our children are so messed up because everybody's got to work. The mama's got to work. The dad's got to work. Everybody. Something has to change, bro, yeah. because I, I think when you have a global economy, people that are in charge only worry about their pockets and they don't worry about America. They don't worry about their neighbor. Back in the day, they used to like they wouldn't close a plant because they knew the whole town would fall. Yep. Yep. It's not like that anymore. And it's yeah. just, I don't know where, when, when it's going to change or if it's ever going to change. I hope it does so that our children don't have to live like we're living right now, bro. We yeah. want to bring, I want to bring someone up here. Uh, obviously, very close friend. I'm glad he's on here. Sorry it took me so long to send you the link, but let's welcome Hammer to the show. Yo, what up, bro? What's my going brother, on? My brother. Oh, oh Hammer, my what's up? McHammerlin. Hammer, you letting the hair grow out? Nah, I'm getting rid of this. I'm cutting this down on uh, Thursday. You get, get get some waves in there, man. You can put a wave cap on, bro. Nah. You got that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to our brother, Hammer McHammerston. Yo, Hammer is about to be a, 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 a DJ at La Mega Radio. He's Lolo, lo, so está lo nilo, lo La Mega. Lo Mega. I remember when Andy said he watched the Spanish He Man, bro. Oh my God, yo, you remember that? Spanish He Man, bro. Todos Unidos. Yo, damn, I'm so old. Born in Old Sack. Born in Old Sack. Hospital played on on 10th Street. Raised up Valley High. I grew up in Valley High too. In Mac Row. Opened Valley High School. Entire family still there. It's a shame today. So sad. Yeah, man. You, hey, you're nothing, bro. It's bad over there, bro. I grew. Look, I when I mean the South Sac, I lived everywhere out there. Center and Mac. I grew up at the donut shop. I used to be in that auto zone busting knocks. I used to be at the laundry mat next door, do, getting my little shit off. Bro, Valley and Center is different. It's different over there, bro. Valley High. Yeah, man. That shit is is crazy, bro. It's crazy, man. Salute to you, though, man. Uh, let's 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 not talk about that. Oh my God! Wait, wait, wait! wait hold, but, uh, what, quickly, quick, be, quit believing what you hear. As far as what? I don't know. Mega, uh, de this directly quit believing what you hear. about Cali. I guess about Cali, whatever. But yo, back in the day, bro, yo, that joke was funny, man. Think about Andy watching the uh, he he made on Telemundo and shit. Yo, <laughs> boy, yo, those Mastros de la Universidad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. Yo. <laughs> yo, salute to uh, my dog 360. He always support what we do, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Do love you, bro. Keep up the good work. Once a raider, always right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And obviously, it's people in here, right? I mean, again, my 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 thing with this show was one, uh, to talk about the weekend, uh, two, to give to, to always give my respects to to, to Mark Davis. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Rob Ryan, uh, Chuck Pagano, Rod Martin, uh, like I said, Larry Delson, Chris Cortez, Bob Romanski, um, you know, all the guys that show me love Scotty Touche. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we're talking about 
one reason we were talking about this is why Al chose to go to Vegas because that was a big thing, right? And people were all mad, this and that, and like. There's a reason why he he's do. Did I say Al? I meant Mark. Well, 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 Mark. Well, Al, but Al planted that seed a long time ago, though. Yeah, people have to realize, like, dude, th th sometimes these decisions, their decisions, their business decisions, man. Like this thing's about money, and when you can go somewhere and say, but the biggest thing is the reason he did it was one to get the free agents. I mean, that that's the whole thing. That's the whole to save thing. him from losing a damn team, bro. Yeah, he's there you go. And keeping players and keeping yeah, draft yeah, picks. keeping players and him actually keeping his 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 father's legacy, bro. Yeah. They would have never allowed his father to do this. They no. would have never allowed his father to do this. In real rap, they were trying not to allow him to do it. He got the right people involved. He got Sheldon Adelson and all of these people involved. And then at the final moment, he outsmarted a bunch of billionaires. And I give Mark a hell of a lot of credit. He's he is an infinitely more talented businessman than his father because he understands relationships matter. Relationships matter. And and bro, listen, man, California is a beautiful state, man. It sucks that the the, the, the tax rate. New Jersey is a beautiful state. It sucks the tax rate. New York, the Especially thing is Nassau it's, County. Yeah, it's spreading everywhere, man. And it's like, yo. And there's certain things where you're like, damn, what am I paying taxes for? Like, I see a guy in the chat, and he's talking about, I visited New Jersey in the 90s, right? Which is like 30 years ago. And he said it sucked, and it was graffiti everywhere and everything like that. And you can go anywhere in the country and see that. <laughs> and and and, it, and it's like, dude, you wonder to yourself, what am I paying yeah. for? Yeah, yeah. No, like, 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 bro, you you just you just wonder. Like, for me, bro, the, 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 people, the people across the street from my house during the pandemic, Young kid, he probably works in the city. The train station's very close. A lot of people who live by me work in New York. All my neighbors, bro, there's a big house across from me. That kid paid like $900,000 for that house and gut the house before he moved into it. Damn. So, the, the, so their taxes, bro, dude, this dude's taxes are like fucking $16,000, $17,000 a month or some shit like that. It's ridiculous, bro. A month? Bro, a month. He said, I'm going to go home in New Jersey. Bro. I always wondered this, guys. When the, the neighborhood I lived in when I was with the Raiders, I I know what I was doing as a professional, right? And I'm looking at these people in the same house with with the same type of cars, paying the same type of stuff. I'm going, how they've got to be broke. I mean, they've got it like how how do they how do they and afford this? That finance, them finance jobs are different, bro. Me and Graf were talking about this today. Finance. When you're in finance, you work in a city and you work attorneys, with, attorneys too. Yeah, attorneys, all, that shit is different, bro. They get bonuses that are six figure bonuses. You know what I'm saying? Quarterly bonus crazy. That shit's crazy, bro. It's a different kind of money. I wish I knew more about it because I'm a numbers guy. And I probably should have went in that direction when I was younger. <laughs> hey, big big out hey, uh LA Crash Dog Gunny. I was born and raised here. I still can afford it. No doubt, there is no place more beautiful with beaches, mountain deserts, lakes, all with it. No, there, I mean, yeah, you have all. I mean, you're right about that, but it's not worth it with the cost of. Yeah, it's it's. You're you're right. I mean, you got to look at things from and say, yeah, this is great, but I want I want to be able to 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 save some money, enjoy my retirement, be able to give my kids to pay for their weddings, and then maybe put a down payment on a, a house for them, and to be able to support them, but. Yeah. You're 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 living you're living broke. It's you're something, broke. and it's almost like you have to, you, like, if you want to give your kid something, you got to keep your house, right? And you you got to stay there even yeah. past yeah. your time, yeah. and yeah. then maybe you can hand it to him or something. That's about like. it. Yeah, maybe you can hand it to him, leave him some 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 you know um um some life insurance, yeah. whatever you've amassed in your taxes or whatever. Like, I, mean, I can't see people about, having enough to to have to be able to save money to have later on to give them because you got to use that to live in my guys i'm t everybody i love california i'm born and raised there right and it's, I, it's a blessing to be able to wake up and go to tahoe if you want to yep. drive down napa, to napa, like said, napa drive valley down to napa and shit anytime you want but you're not doing that too much when you live in california you're not doing that all the fucking time you can't afford gas that's cute <sighs> Bro, I, I, the thing the thing is, where what do you, when you're working all the time, right? When you had a time to drive four hours somewhere, you're right. You, you're like you're like, well, shit, I gotta go to work tomorrow. It's, it's almost like you're just chasing your tail, you know. Here yeah. was the crazy thing is like, 
the money, the money's in San Francisco, right? The jobs to make money, but people can't afford to live in San Francisco. Cause I remember Christy had friends. They would drive, they would take BART an hour and a half or sometimes two hours to get into the city and home. So they're traveling four hours Bro. because the farther you go out, it's cheaper. It Most of the people I know that live in Sacramento drive to San Francisco That's to go to work crazy. every day, every single day. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like every day. And it's like, after a while, like, bro, you spending most of your time in a fucking car. Four hours of your life a day. Yeah, yeah. Times bro, I got somebody times, right now that times. drives from SAC to San Jose every day for work. That's bro. just, bro, crazy. Bro, I'm like, ain't no, ain't no fucking way, bro. Like, nah. Yeah, it, 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 it's it's gotta it's gotta it's gotta stop. Like, I heard right now the bubbles about to burst with car prices. It's got like, like anybody out there that's yeah. thinking about buying a car, just wait because yeah. it has to come down. Like you got people that are paying twelve hundred dollars to drive a fucking Honda. Well, the interest rates are ridiculous, bro. Yeah, and that bro, they they calling me trying to buy my car back from me. Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, absolutely. Straight up, like like that shit's crazy, bro. Yeah, I know they they um BMW Auto Finance keeps trying to buy my truck. Yeah, I'm about and to then, sell. And truck. then think about it. Then think if you're if you're trying to rebuild, like what, what if you had a bad credit score? And you're trying to rebuild it. It's yep. even like it's even more outrageous. See, look at LT says shit. I go back and forth from SAC to San Jose <laughs> doing concrete for thirty years straight. That's crazy. No, I, 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 I bet you. I bet you, LT. Whoever said that, who does concrete for thirty years, you better not shake his hand. That <laughs> shit is like a vice grip. Any of Uso too. Any of the Us. Oh, it's oh, yeah. oh, oh. yo, he, he, yo, he'll fucking break your hands. You shake that man's hands. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> Facts. That's crazy though. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. Look, we we're having fun tonight, man. Yeah, we yeah. talked about some of the Colts. I mean, we could look. There's only so much we could talk about that game because I don't want to talk about it. I didn't break down any stats of that game. I don't want to talk about that game at all. Like, nah, that, he, that, he, that, he, you know he what just that walked off. <laughs> Bro, you, you, know, know, you know, I left the stream. I was pissed, bro. I'm done. I'm like that you know, game. You know what that game represents? What that happened? game represents. It, it, it's like a hey, hey, Stu, Stu, you, Stu, Hammer, Graf. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but you remember in 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 like in high school or college, they, they had the Greek mythology, and it's the one, it's the one Greek, it's the guy, what is it Sisyphus or whatever? I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. The guy who was was cursed to roll the ball. Zeus, um, was cursed this man to roll the ball. That Icarus. Up. It, that's not Icarus. That's yeah, Icarus, 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 had, the, Icarus had the, the wings. The wings. Yeah. It's, it was Sisyphus. Or, I don't know how to pronounce it. It push the rock and roll it back down. It would yeah, roll yeah. back down and he, push he, it he back down. Anybody in the chat, I don't know, right? But I feel I, like... I'm Greek and I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Bro, I, look. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I, I heard sister's puss. That's what I heard. I know, yeah, I know, the, the, story, I know, the, I know the story he's talking about. No, he's right. It's It's Sisyphus. That's the first I couldn't pronounce it, but yeah, bro, I'm getting old. I'm sorry. I used to be a lot smarter, but <laughs> but 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 yo, I feel like that as a Raider fan sometimes because you used to live next door to my cousin, R.I.P. to Woody Sisyphus. You this is the thing, bro. Every time I feel that we're building towards the future of the Raiders, and when I start feeling like, yo, okay, we're gaining momentum, this is it. Then we, we have a chance. We, we have our destiny in our hands. We don't got a back door in. We All we got to do is beat a team that's at the same level. It's not some – we don't got to beat Kansas City. We don't got to beat the Ravens. We just got to go beat the fucking but, Colts. But this is the thing, though. It's everybody shit. deals with this shit, bro. Think about this. How long has the NFL been around? About a hundred years. Hold on, no, no, but it reminds me – hold on. Hold that thought because you remind me – rolling up the rock, it reminds me of the Paul Abdullah song, right? I take two steps forward and then take three steps back, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. literally. Like, but most teams do, though, Stu. Like, like, think about this. The most championships yeah, that we have no, in six, no, right? No, six right. championships in like it's 100 hard. years. It's fucking hard, guys. It's fucking Yeah, it's hard. not easy. It's not easy. But, it, it, but it, see, it, this is the difference, though. And and, and, and I got to push back on there you. There you go. Sis Sisyphus. Sisyphus. Sisyphus, right? Listen, it's a little different because if you talk about the, the, the modern-day NFL, the modern-day NFL system merger was – what was that? It was night. Was it nineteen? It was nineteen sixty. What? It was in the sixties. I mean, it was nineteen. What, what, what? The Raiders what? were were starting in the sixties. The the um the Vikings were the year before the Raiders in fifty nine, right? So the the so nineteen. It was because Super Bowl one was what like nineteen sixty two three. It was nineteen sixty, wasn't it or no? 66. No, sixty six. Right. So it was in the mid sixties because I know. Super Bowl three happened the year that Dr. King got shot. That was 68. 
right? So listen, so when you talk about the modern era of football till now, there's just a certain amount of time there, right? So that's the era that I look at. So if you talk about from 1968 till now, that's about 50, 60 years, right? Mm -hmm. the, the, the NFL has been dominated by a handful of teams. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the problem is, is that we were fucking one of them. Yeah. We were one of them, bro. And that's mm -hmm. the problem. The, the, the merger was before 1970, bro. But but you, but you but you know what I'm saying because you you talk about the Super Bowl I don't know if they merged before the Super, the first Super Bowl but I'm just saying but 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 bro like like I, like I said bro yo we that's the problem that's the problem bro like yo you got the Dallas Cowboys right you got the Patriots they had their their run you got the Green Bay Packers who Niners. had kind of a spotty run you got Chiefs. the Pittsburgh Steelers the 49ers. the Steelers the 49ers. The, the mm -hmm. Chiefs have always been good. They haven't dominated the league. The Bears, Bears had a little run. The Bears only had one. They won one Super Bowl, and that was that. They, the 85 Bears, that was it. They didn't I win it. The Bears got two. I thought they had two. No, they got one. They've no, been they in the Super one. Bowl twice. Seattle, Ravens, Seattle for Ravens. a while there was a contender, right? Seattle. Yeah, they had one or two, but I'm talking about like them teams like the Steelers. The Steelers, the Patriots, the, the 49ers, the, the Dallas Cowboys, who have been in multiple Super Bowls, the Denver Broncos, who have had their run. We've had our run. The Redskins, the New York Giants. It's hard, bro. It's fucking hard. It, it's, uh, yo, bro, it, there's them blue blood franchises. But guess what? We kind of are that. We, we haven't been for the last 20 years, but we're supposed to be that because we came into football like that. And it was like that up until like the mid 80s. And then we kind of had a resurgence in the early 2000s. I, like, dude, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, a, lot, a lot of, my bad, real quick. A lot of the Bears' success came before the merger and stuff. Yeah, yeah. George Howard started the National Football League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my, my bad, but that's, I was just going off. They had a lot of success in the past. Well, you're talking about, even then, they really kind of, the monster the midway, they kind of did. Like, you you had, like, the Curly Lambo, George Howard's years with, like, Red Grange in the, th the 40s and shit. But in the 60s, the Bears really didn't win a whole lot. I know Buckus, Buckus, and, and Lou so Jack. They, they have eight NFL championships and one so, Super Bowl. So because you got to look at it from here. Eight NFL championships. So when were the, the early ones? They were like the 40s and shit. When we talk, I'm, I'm like going like. Too. Yeah. You, so you, when you talk about the 50s and stuff, when Gale Sayers and Buckus and them guys were there and, um, you know, um, Atkinson and all those guys. The Bills. That was, yep, the Bills. Yeah, the, yep. the Bills had their run. But when, but, when you, but when you talk about it, right, the Bears won an NFL championship in 1963. But when you talk about. The, the the modern era of football. When you talk about the modern era of football, it's only a certain amount of select few who have won yeah. multiple Super Bowls, and we are that team. Yeah. And that's the thing. We we almost have a fucking to me. We have a duty to be where these teams are because yo, one, we're a worldwide worldwide franchise. We have a worldwide fan base. We got the money. We got the city. We got the facilities. Now we got everything. Now we just gotta win. That's all we need to do. And I know it sounds hard, but it's really not that hard. We're it, making it harder than it needs to be. I think, I think Al used to say something like that, didn't he? Just win, baby. Yeah. yeah and that, here's the thing. You say, well, no, no shit. But I, the whole the whole reason of that statement is just win. Keep it simple. Like simple, bro. Like make it don't don't make this thing too hard than what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, and that's the thing though, I think you're bringing up hammer is. And when I say it's hard, when you have a chance, like you got to you got to take advantage of it, right? Because we don't know if we're gonna have another shot. We, I mean, I think we're. I think. I mean, I, I believe with again, it's gonna take a little bit, but I feel like we're 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 in heading in the right direction. We we I, we I have we have. Bit. I think we have like certain pieces in place, but we're still a few things away. Like we are. And yeah. when it comes to the head coach thing, like it could be AP, it could be Harbaugh. Like at this point, I'll take either or it doesn't matter to me, but I'd much rather have AP. But the main thing that we need right now is going to be a dual threat quarterback. Like we know what the upward trend is. We know these teams that are in the playoffs year in and year out, the bills, the chiefs, the Bengals, they have dual threat quarterbacks. And that's the that's the upward trend right now in the league. Like we need that type of quarterback. We need a guy like. Go ahead, go ahead, wasted. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, Amber. Go ahead. I, no, I just, go ahead, bro. Go. No, you were talking, brother. Go ahead. Like, hey, hey, wasted. Stop being disrespectful, bro. I know people. I know people. Last night were like, do I have to mute? Hey, do I have to mute, wasted? No, no, no. no. <laughs> 
I know a lot of people um, last night saw what Penix did against Texas and was like, holy shit. Oh, Penix here we go. You, you a hammer. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Don't not, even. Right, listen to me. Talk I'm talking about not, a quarterback yesterday. Let's talk about one that beat Alabama, dog. And J.J. McCarthy, I think he yeah. had I, he, he put on a great game yesterday as well. But look, I saw, wasted. I was watching. Uh, I'm sorry, Graph. I was watching your show before. Penix, 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 Penix. Like n- who, now, who was saying was, Penix? The fans. Graph. Oh, Graph. A lot of people in his chat like that. That's gonna be. But, but I've been saying. Th- I've been saying. No, my you have, you know, no, you absolutely the- have. But now, now everybody, all these people that were like, "Oh, Caleb's Williams season." Da, 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 da. Now oh. everybody wants the Penix for throwing. No, look, if I can start Caleb Williams, I, look, I'm looking at that situation is out of our hands. You have yeah. to give up a lot to get him. So I'm looking at it. It's not even a realistic option. Yeah. I always looked at Penix as a realistic option. Yeah, like basically, you said Bo Nix, which is not a bad. It's not a bad option. Yeah, I, I, I want to. I want to ask initially, a question. I want to ask initially. Initially, I, I've I said Penix last year. I said Penix earlier. But the thing is, is this? I, I said Penix. I like Bo Nix. Look, I I don't want to be a prisoner of the what's moment. What's your concern with Penix? though? what what's your biggest thing that worries you about Penix? Injury. What, what, with me, mean, injuries, man. Because I remember Penix when he was at Indiana, and when he yep. was in Indiana, he looked like one of the best prospects I ever seen. Right, but the problem is that injury, and then two of them. Strong, yeah, two two knee injuries. Now, listen, Elite made a great point about Frank Gore, right? But Frank Gore is a, is 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 a genetic freak. He's different. He's different. So I like that's the oh, one yeah, thing about like, the Raiders. You you, yeah, you, and he got knocked oh. the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, yeah man, bro, like, but, but but bro, I told you that was gonna happen. Remember, when I saw him training. I, t- I, t- I tell you, I say he gonna go put the sleep. Le'Veon bro. Bell, right? Was it Le'Veon yeah. Bell that night? No, it was Darren Dur- Dur- Williams, or Darren Williams, right? Or Darren Dur- uh, Dur- Williams, the Dur- basketball Williams. player. That's and then I, I told Grab, I said, eight, I said, no. um, Adrian Peterson gonna get knocked out too. I said Adrian Peterson because Le'Veon Bell used to box. I was like, yo, I said, I'm telling you, I can see what I saw uh, Adrian Peterson box. And I saw him drop his hands and shit when he got hit. I said he gonna get knocked out, bro. But but yo, Hammer, this is what I want to say to you. I, look. There's a difference between a dual threat quarterback and a mobile quarterback. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Now, now, see, lateral movement is what we need. Guys who can move in a pocket, move up in a pocket. I don't yes. necessarily need a running a, 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 a running quarterback, right? I don't. Thank you. Patrick Mahomes is a mobile quarterback. Yes. Justin Fields is a dual threat, and I haven't seen a dual threat quarterback win a Super Bowl damn near ever. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so the thing like Joe Burrow, I don't. Consider Joe Burrow a, a a dual threat quarterback. I consider mobile. him a mobile quarterback. Mobile quarterback, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's where that's what I I, I didn't Ooh. want to interrupt your that story. Might be the, that might be the best thing we've t- that that right there. If 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 we can if we can make that different that 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 difference and and say when people say like you said, are we talking about a mobile quarterback or a dual threat? I think we need to make sure that we distinguish what that is, then really ask people or hear people opinion because yeah. I'm with, I, I want a mobile quarterback too. I don't want a dual threat quarterback. There's a big difference. Now Penix is a mobile quarterback. He moves with the pocket. And the good thing about Michael Penix is he throws people open. People were talking mm-hmm. about, Oh, they were wide open. It's yeah. like, I was like, what the he hung the ball fucking three yards away from the dude so the dude can run under the catch and he'll put it in the sideline where only he can catch it. That is di- that. That is being a quarterback. That's a guy that immediately, if he has enough talent around him, the Raiders are probably going to have to, to me, to get up to number one, because Graf, Graf and I were saying, well, listen, man, we've never, we've never, ever really taken a big swing on a quarterback. The Jamarcus Russell year was 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 an aberration. Because he wasn't even the eighth best player in that draft. And that's no disrespect to Jamarcus Russell. I remember when we took Jamarcus Russell, I was mad. Because I was like, well, he look, I, yeah, it's great that he can throw the football from his knees 90 yards. But I haven't really seen a whole lot of Jamarcus Russell being great in college. Like, I remember him in the Sugar Bowl. And he dominated Notre Dame. I'm a Notre Dame fan. He looked great. But his college career, he was really good. But he was inconsistent. And to me, the time when he was in college, Brady Quinn was a better quarterback than he was. So Quinn didn't really do shit either. But, but, and but, I know. Yeah, but he went to, he went to Cleveland, though. I mean, that, that I, like, people call well, hey, Jamarcus went to Oakland. I mean, shit. It, it, yeah. you can so, so, for me, so for me, I'm looking, I'm like, well, shit. Yo, you got Adrian Peterson in this draft. You got Megatron in this draft. Oh, you bro. got Patrick Willis. 
yo, fucking Marshawn Lynch, all of these guys, bro. And I'm like, bro, like, don't take like Darrell Revis, like, like, yo, I, we could get some, we'll get somebody in the second round. This ain't the year for us to take him. Yeah, I, you know what's funny, man? This may be a, 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 a hot take, and people may call me crazy. I just think more along the line. I think Jamarcus had a nice skill set. I just think he got in his own way. I think he got some money and just didn't know how to fucking act. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, like the whole lean thing and all that other shit. And I'm not going to go into uh, Stu. I know that's your former, you know, your guy and all that good stuff. It's no, no disrespect. No, 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 but, no, but, no. but, but, but I, I think he got a little baggery. You know what I'm saying? And and, and he kind of let loose a little. He bit. was the guy. He was the guy that needed guidance, and yeah. he was Al's guy. And again, Lane Kiffin wanted Megatron. And mm -hmm. Al said, you are drafting Jamarcus Russell. So yep. Lane Kiffin yep. was mad. Yep. So Lane Kiffin was going to do everything he could to make that pick look terrible. And he was going to – I believe that. I believe he, that. that. That's how Lane Kiffin was. He was spiteful. He but was there spiteful. was games, too, where I would go to Oco. I remember a specific game we played against the McNabb Eagles. And Jamarcus – they won that game. And Jamarcus went out there, and he was, he was doing shit where I'm like – we got something like after even some fucked up games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got something like he yeah. has, he has a skill set, but and he 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 had coaches that 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 didn't want nothing to do with him and, and didn't didn't develop him. They, he was not developed. He needed to be developed. If Jamarcus would have had Hugh Jackson now. as his coach, if Jamarcus would have had Hugh Jackson as his coach, he would have panned out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I, Hammer, I think you're echoing, bro. But hello. I, I checked mine because I hear it's it. Too. One of us. I hear it too. You guys hear it? Yo, yo. yo. Cause I have echo. Yo, yo, yo. Hello? Oh. Yes, Stu. Stu, do you have up YouTube or something like that? If you got YouTube up, you got to tip or you got your phone or something like that, you got to turn it down. A hey, shout out to the man that just said that Stu is looking handsome. Yo, yo, where's that at? Yo, I, I think that scouts popped. Dylan Coon. <laughs> that line too. Oh, that, that's a Purdue helmet. Oh yeah, that's Dylan. No, I, I do. Yeah, he's all good, dude. He's a good. <laughs> Salute to Dylan. Why, 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 yeah, hold on. Why is it so? I, I don't. Me personally, I don't even hear it. No, I hear I, it. I, I hear it. When Stu talks, I hear it. Hello. All right, it's, it's now you sound. Hello, hello, hello. Yo. Hello, hello. Yo. Because when I mute graph, can you hear it now? Hello. Nope. Nope, it's graph. And then wait, hello? Hello. <laughs> it's always fucking graph. <laughs> right, let me see. Let me turn my mic off and, uh, and let me see if I just use the computer. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Yo, is it better now? Yeah. All right, I just turned my mic off. So I'm just using my yeah, that, that Oh, hello? Yo. I feel like y'all fucking got a text thread somewhere and you're like, let's fuck with graph right now. <laughs> I, I, feel, I feel like I you're in the group chat somewhere right now. Like, Hello. <laughs> it's me. Uh, okay, I'm a stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah, no, it's good. It's good now. It's good now. It's good. Hello. Now. This is Kessel. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I don't. I. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm. I wasn't a big fan. I, I don't know. Yeah, nah, I'm cool on Jack Del Rio. But, yeah. but yo, like, you know, you know the crazy thing though with Michael Penix, what I see, I see a guy who, and with Bo Nix too, I don't see a guy that's going to need to be developed. In Those are two guys that are ready. They've taken a lot of snaps in college. Yeah. They've taken a lot of snaps in college. They understand how to play the position. I think a lot of what's been done in college football over the years. No, you're right. You're right. Is that they have guys who are very athletically talented. And they're geared towards winning games in college. And then you got to take the kid in the NFL and you got to groom him because, like, I, I'm going to give you an example. Like, Urban Meyer, when he had Tebow at Florida, it wasn't like he was trying to, you know, groom Tim Tebow to be an NFL quarterback. He was grooming him to be the best college quarterback for him. And, 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 and I feel like some of these guys that are coming out, man, are going to be projects. Jaden Daniels is one of them. I like Jaden Daniels, but he's going to be a project. And he's a guy that if you move up and you get him, you have to worry a bit. You have to worry. He's he's wasted. I don't want Russell Wilson, but if we draft Jaden Daniels, I'm fine with bringing in Russell Wilson for a year. Yeah. And, and let him sit and try to battle it out. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Cool. But, but with Michael Penix, Michael Penix is a guy who can come in like CJ Stroud 
and have you in the playoffs next year. I believe it. If you, if you keep some of the pieces that we have, I, look, Hammer. I know you don't agree because I, I, no, no, I, I no, no, it's it, it's not that I don't agree. It's the simple fact that McDumbass fucked up that opportunity for us and vetoed that shit when we had an opportunity to draft C.J. Stroud. And again, we talk, you and I talked about this not too long ago. Like, look at what Houston is doing right now with a first year head coach and a first year offensive coordinator. And what they're doing with this young kid who Who's is presumably, um, he was a coordinator or an assistant with San Francisco last year. Yeah, he, he's a Kyle well, Shanahan disciple. Both it, of them. It, it, okay. It's just like, what the fuck? Like, we just we've had the wrong people in the wrong like in the spots as a head coach and GM for the last couple of years, and that's been our main problem. With they can't make the right Stagging decisions, all. not just football decisions. Hey, Hammer, you brought up Stroud, right? Let me read this message to oh, you. Oh, shit. Hold on, guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm, I'm tripping right now. I am fucking – I am – Hey, let me read this real quick, Stu, real fast. Oh, As, salute to SJ Nito. He sent me a message. He said, yo, I just met uh, David Ziegler at the airport in Boston. I go, I wanted uh, I wanted CJ Stroud with you. He was like, tell me about it. <laughs> he walked away. <laughs> Fuck. Go ahead, oh. Man. Bro, that, that's hilarious, Stu. Go ahead. I got, I got a story. Yeah, with you. I, 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 I am, I am tripping. This is, this is my, this is my, one of my closest best friends since second grade, Daryl Sly. Uh, he, he teaches English in uh, uh, South Korea. He's actually going to write my autobiography. And Daryl, you've been in here, and I, I, I apologize. I, the damn larkins your little name or whatever so okay thank you daryl for being up in here so i wanted to make sure to throw that no. that's my boy daryl sly hey hey, hey Stu, grab hammer i would tell you all the time I, we bumped into ike turner in the airport <laughs> <laughs> bro bro no way. Yo, me and my boy g we saw ike turner in north airport we like yo is that fucking ike turner i was like that's ike turner. i think that's ike turner and shit i was like hell yeah that's that motherfucker so my boy Gene goes, he goes, hey, Ike, what's love got to do with it, Ike? He said, not a motherfucking thing, young blood. Not a motherfucking <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I see. don't know if I'd be able to know even what Ike Turner looks like. Oh, bro, Ike, is, Ike he has a distinctive look for sure. He looked like an old school St. Louis pimp. Yeah, he had to do the, the, the hair. He, 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 he said, not a motherfucking thing, young blood. <laughs> But but you, you got to realize me growing up seeing the old records. My mother loved Tina Turner and the Ike Turner Review and all that shit. So I remember looking at the records and shit. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That shit funny, bro. It's like Earthworm Jim and shit. He's yeah. Got the, yeah. Uh, told you, uh, what was that? Told yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fucking Told, told Jim and <laughs> he got he got the goddamn uh what what's it? Anthony Kiedis haircut from Red Hot Chili Peppers, bro. <laughs> he got the Ike Turner haircut. <laughs> Well, my, bad. My, my bad. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, it, yeah. You look like a beat the motherfucking like a roadie for the Beatles with their haircut. Hey, <laughs> so, hey, Ruben Russ. Hey, thank you so much. Penix has calm. Penix has calm pocket presence, and if he has to move in the pocket, he throws wide mm -hmm. receivers open. He shows up consistently in big games. He, I mean, he's he's been playing. He has been playing like this since his freshman year. To be honest with you, lefty QBs scare me because elite pass protecting. Yeah, that's yep. Right and that, rare. that last part is the is the scariest part. Lefty's QB scary because elite pass protecting right tackles are rare. But Penix is him. This is, I'm bring, gonna say he means legit. Bring back the all pro loom. You said what? To bring back the all pro loom. Bring back a little all pro loom. Great the great loom. Yo, let me ask you guys a question, man. So when you Trent talk about great left, Brown. Yo, oh my god. So when you talk about the great lefty quarterbacks in the history of the league, the greatest lefty quarterback yeah. is Steve Young. Steve, so Young. Steve Young, Boomer was a he he wasn't great, but he's one of the better lefty quarterbacks, right? Hold on, Mike, hold on, we not talking about Vic, Michael Vick. No, I you know I'm just talking about the, I'm going in the eras, right? Oh, okay, okay. So there's not a lot of guys who have really been able. I mean, Todd Marinovich should have been Mark Brunel, Mark Brunel. Snake, yeah. Snake, you for, know. Snake for sure. But it's like, man, there, there, yo, it's maybe he is. It, this is the time. This is the guy. This is guy. This is the guy, right? He's he's gonna be the lefty of this era. Two and two. If, if we two draft a quarterback, it's got to be Knicks or Penix. That's it. Like Pen, um, Knicks, I was watching the last two years. I didn't really get to watch much of his, his game this season. But Knicks was a guy. Wait, wait, wait. I, what did you just fucking say? Bo. What did you just fucking say? I said if we go for a quarterback, it's one of two. 
Panix or Bo Nix? You're crazy, dude. You are fucking crazy. Well, 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 well now, Hammer. Because, all right, you know what? He, he fell in love with JJ now. So yeah. everybody has their own name. Who fell in love with I've been talking about JJ for the last three years. Well, you have been talking. Matter of fact, you was high on him a few weeks actually, ago. The, the kid got a big thing bias, though, Stu. The kid dude. from North Carolina? That motherfucker. Oh, yeah. No, Drake May is cold. He's cold. But where do you see, I right, realistically, where do you see JJ getting drafted? Do you think he's, I think he's a second rounder at best. JJ? You, wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he has second guys, round. The guy's lost one game in college football. Is about to win a national championship, and Tom Brady said he's the best Michigan quarterback to ever play. How long has JJ McCarthy been at Michigan? Like how many years three did he years. play? He's only a junior. A true uh, he junior. played three. Okay, and he started all three years. He uh, he he didn't start his uh, freshman year. I don't think. Well, at look, least yeah, not, at least Brady, Brady was an afterthought at Michigan. So. I mean, bro, he was, he was like, he went, to, come on. Like, he was only saying, here's the, the only reason, here's the the only reason I'm listen, asking that. Listen, here's, no, here's the deal. I take opinions from people who know quarterbacks. Tom right. Brady knows quarterbacks. If he's saying that, it doesn't regardless of what his career was like. But but, but what I'm saying, but, but it, Royce, you looked at me crazy, right? But I didn't mean, JJ's definitely better than Tom Brady at Michigan. Yo, but you know the problem with Brady? And I remember when Brady was in Michigan, right? I remember, I remember when you know, when Breeze was at Purdue, Thank I remember you, that. Mason, you. Appreciate that. This the problem with Brady was they brought Drew Henson in. John Navarre, it was John Navarre, Brady, and Drew Henson. And they were trying to just because Drew Henson was a phenom. Drew Henson got that contract with the Yankees, and they were trying to make the Drew Henson thing happen. So it would be times like I remember in a bowl game where Brady came back and won. And they still, you know what I'm saying? And it, like it was, it was times during that season where you'd be like, "Why don't they just start Brady?" I remember that vividly. Stu, am I wrong? Because you were in college back then. No, forgive me. I'm just trying to figure out what uh, Al Apocalypse. If you're gonna, if you're gonna come on and say a joke, it, it better be funny. I don't know what. I'm gonna be honest, is. y'all. Like I'm looking at this list. Keep it, keep it a buck. They might be right. Chad Haney, Denar Robinson, Elvis Gerback, Jim Harbaugh, Todd, Todd Elvis, high stake Gerback. Hey, hold on, so what? What did you say? What did you say? The best name is Benny Friedman. Bro, he was playing with another What what did you say? Brady's not wrong, but what I was saying was when Brady was at college, it was like they were just trying to force Drew Henson to be the guy. You know what I'm saying? Brady, a lot of times, they did Brady wrong, bro. They, you know, Drew Henson was a phenom. He was a true freshman. And they were just, it was kind of like what they did with like Chris Sims and Major Applewhite. You remember what they did down in oh, Texas? You, you gotta throw in, you gotta throw in um major apple greasy. You gotta throw greasy in there. Oh, Brian Greasy. Yeah, yeah Greasy was all a porn name, bro. Major Apple White. Major Apple White. Major Apple White was a dog at Texas, though, was, man. Yeah, Major Apple. Why am I thought why did I think he was at Oklahoma? But you're right, Major Apple White was Major Apple White. They, yo, Chris Sims, another lefty. They just no, shoved I Chris Sims down him. everyone's throat, man. Yeah, I couldn't stand him. At Texas, you couldn't? No, I couldn't fucking stand really? the kid. Well, Chris Sims? Yeah, Chris Sims sucked, man. He was supposed to be all great and stuff like that. I'm, Has I, there ever been a good Texas quarterback? Vince Young. In the NFL? The NFL, Young. his career was... Eh. I'm just saying, I mean, he's a pro bowler, right? Oh, yeah, like yeah. His career was mid as fuck, bro. I mean, it's mid. I mean, he had the Madden curse. He got the Madden curse. Yeah, when he I'm first sorry. came in, he was rookie of the year. He was doing hey, it. And then, he was, then, then just one like injuries. That's so weird. Is that what it was? Motherfuckers say that Derek Carr had a good career. Vince Young had a good career. <laughs> in the what NFL? Was talking about? Hell yeah, bro. Rookie of the year. I think he was a, wasn't he a pro bowler like twice. But that was it was though. A, like it was only a couple years. And then though. injuries and then, and then just, like off the field shit, bro. Like yeah, no. Is that what happened? Now, he, he got into it with Jeff Fisher too, and then they were saying how he was a two read quarterback and stuff like yeah. that. Let me see, sixty games. I I can't wait. I I got to only I only got to see him in one game this year, and I was highly disappointed. Fucking Malik just, Murphy is a bum, bro. Bro, I'm just t- wait. Who'd you say, Arch Manning? He said Arch Manning. I'm excited for that kid's career, but he won't be starting until 2025. Like yeah, the dude's coming back. I will say this: when I watched him in high school, he played against. It looked like almost middle school kids he was playing against. So the league that he was in was. I, yeah. I'm going like. I remember seeing those videos. And the stats like weren't really that man. good. Stats, yeah, I don't think Arch Manning is as good as their man. I think it, 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 people are more excited about his 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 last name than his talent. 
I don't I don't see it. I'm 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 intrigued to see what he can do once he starts playing in 2025. But Malik Murphy, that dude was trash. I'm glad he fucking got into the portal and I think he's going to Duke now. Like yeah. you ain't gonna be missed, my guy. Yeah, yeah, no, Drew Henson was drafted by the Yankees at, th- at third base out of high school. That was the reason why Michigan was trying to kind of like shoehorn him in to start. You know, hey, what I mean? Al, you talking about Corey, you talking about Corey tries, right? That's my guy. I keep forgetting that Pittsburgh still has him on ice right now. Remember, he didn't he tear his ACL or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Or it, something. Trice I don't know if he and tore Trice it. Was a guy you wanted in the draft, right? Like Trice yeah, was a guy you were talking about a lot. I remember out of Purdue. He was a dog, yeah. bro. Corey Trice, no games, no gimmicks. That's Obi Trice's brother. We were saying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if she got some teeth, right? Yeah, right. Obi tries. He from Michigan too. That's your boy. That's your old boy right there. He tried, bro. I'm sagging all boys, man. Shit, man. And CJ, what rookie has done I mean, good? Not- I mean, hey, I'm not gonna. Again, you know, as far as historically, quarterbacks in the NFL, Purdue has it's unmatched. But when it comes to what quarterbacks, what Breeze. Shit. Jim Ever, Bob Greasy, Bob Greasy, uh, uh, Len Dawson, Damn. uh, and yeah, Dawson went to Purdue. I didn't know that, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna be real, Orton was nice out there too. Kyle, Kyle Orton, Orton Drew Brees, yeah. uh, you got um, uh, Jim Everett, damn, uh, Jimmy Everett, bro. Yeah. He's a goat for beating Kyle up Orton. in Jim Rome. Is that who he's putting, uh, Kyle Orton? Yeah, bro. When he beat up, yo, yo, my man Smoker from. Michigan State University, bro. Not the boy Smoker. I remember him, yo. Bro, Smoker was my State. dog, bro. Yeah, Smoker, Smoker was yo. My fucking dog. When, when him and Chuck, when him and Chuck were playing together, it was um it was Smoke Green, Snort White was like the cheer because it always go green, go white. Yeah. But for them, it was it was uh, oh, Smoke yeah. Green, Snort White. Them motherfuckers were wild, bro. Yeah, bro. Hey, it. hey, hey, it's funny. Y'all can feel however you feel about Aiden O'Connell, but that man started a bunch of games his rookie season. Aiden O'Connell, I mean, you had uh, at one point, the uh, Purdue had three starting quarterbacks starting on one Sunday. I think it's the first time Orton, Elliott, and Breeze. Yo, AP, AP 12 just said Mark JJ Herman. McCarthy Mark Herman Zach was Wilson another 2. one. 0. He's Zach Wilson 2.0. Yo. Care about a run, but get either Penix, Daniels, or trade up for Drake Mayer, Caleb Wow, nah, man. Nah. Nah, Zach Wilson, bro, you got to look at this guy's doing this at Michigan. Zach Wilson, see, this is the problem. You get these guys from the Western Athletic Conference playing yeah, at freaking BYU. These guys, most of these, they playing against guys that are Steve yeah. Young. Steve Young. Yeah, Steve Young and Jim McMahon. And after that, then, then you got Ty Detmer, won a Heisman there, didn't play. High, well. high stakes, Detmer. Yo, Steve, I remember Steve Sarkeesian. Yo, that's when Stu was in college. That's yeah. Yo, Steve Sarkeesian is older than Stu and them. Curtis Painter. Bro. Uh, yeah, he was, he was a Purdue guy. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, Sarkeesian, Sarkeesian was, at, was at the Raiders when I was there. Yeah, but hey, he? But, but yeah, he yeah. was. But hey, hey, Stu, you remember when he was at BYU? Jeff George started at Purdue. Yep. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, Hold on. Illinois. Yeah, he went to Illinois after that and was yeah. number one pick. It was him. Oh, and yeah. was, dude, Purdue. Not a lot of people have an arm like Jeff George, bro. I'm sorry. No, nobody. Nobody. Bro. Did I tell you the story of Jeff George? What? Bro, when I was in Oakland and he fucking, I, I, I was getting ready for practice. I don't know what year it was. It was either 06, maybe 06. Like he's in the equipment room. I'm like, yo, shit, that's Jeff George, right? And he's like trying on jerseys and stuff, like shoulder pads. I'm like, yo, he must be like sh- doing some type of commercial or some shit, right? And we go out to practice. That motherfucker comes out, spat it up, fucking towel. Like he practiced. They were giving him giving him a look, right? I'm like, oh shit, Jeff George is like gonna practice, dude. He was, dude, he was fucking roasting us, bro. Like. Throwing yeah. just fucking darts, spat it up, towel, had the eye blacks on and shit. So what the <laughs> fuck was his problem then? Because he had all the intangibles, bro. bro. Like oh God. What the, I remember I was hyped. We didn't have shit. We didn't have good Yo, shit. We were so happy. I was like, we got yeah. that George, baby. Bro, well, bro, we got Carson Palmer. I felt like we got Tom Brady reincarnated. It just C-Paul, felt like oh, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like C Paul, baby. <laughs> yeah, bro, we thought it was a wrap, bro. We're like, it's over with, bro. Bro, because you know what's crazy? Because Jason Campbell was doing so well, man. And I was like, damn it, man. We got to yeah. do might go to the playoffs. Mr. 8-8, eight eight, baby. Mr. 8-8. Eight eight. Eight. We were like, fuck, man. And then when he got hurt, and then they went and got Palmer. I was like, yes. Oh, God. 
And then he just came out. He gave up. Like, like, realistically, took. realistically, USC quarterbacks, how many have legitimately panned out in the league? Because you just mentioned Palmer. I look at Leinert. I look at Mark Sanchez. These guys didn't really. Mark Cameron, Sanchez did, did take the Jets to the playoffs last year. You did that shit with Ohio State. You did it with. Don't scout the player. Don't Whoa. scout. Them. Mark Sanchez was, went to an AFC championship. Yeah, he went right? to the playoffs twice. Yeah. But, Yo. like, what? What were you going to say? No, I'm saying you did that with Ohio State last year. You was doing that to C.J. Stroud until you kept looking at the film. And he was like, bro, bro, he's a dog, bro. He's a dog. Yo, I started looking you at his film and I was like, yeah, you, you kept saying that about him, bro. You was like, oh, Ohio State, he stinks. Ohio State quarterback stink. Come Sam, on, bro. Uh, look, another one, Sam Darnold, USC product. Fuck is he done? Like yo, Sean Salisbury. <laughs> <laughs> the really? steak no. baby. <laughs> no. Yes, all, right, no all, right. all right, wait, hold up, hold up. I just wanna I'm, I'm gonna go through this real quick. The Purdue Cradle quarterbacks, Dale Samuels, Mike Phipps, Curtis Painter, Kyle Orton, Mark Herman, Bob Greasy, Jim Everett, Bob DeMoss, Len Dawson, Gary Danielson, Scott Campbell, and Drew Brees. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. Y'all got some. Yeah, there's some dogs over there. Drew Brees, baby. I mean, there's I'm just dogs. like that's what I'm thinking. If you're a quarterback, like I'm thinking Purdue, right? I mean, like just off of the comparisons of shit, you're automatically gonna get. A, I, I think there's there's gonna be some some publicity with that. Like, why wouldn't you look at Purdue as a quarterback? I mean, well, even- I'm the greatest receiver to ever come out of Kasumnis River College, ever. That's a, ju- that's a Juco, y'all. And there ain't even a football team over there, I don't think. But either way, fuck it. Kasumnis River College, baby. All my Sacramento people know what time it is in the chat. I am I the agree. greatest. I agree. There you go. Bro, Wait, I'm going to be I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, right, you talk about USC. How shit. could you guys not talk about immortals like John David Booty? <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> John David Booty. Booty. The great one. I like it, Raider. I like it. Purdue has four Super Bowl rings at QBs. USC has zero. Oh, shit. Billy Dick got a whole hell of a lot of running back, though. They got a whole hell of a lot of running back and everywhere else. (laughs) ARC, LT. They don't know nothing about that, bro. They don't know nothing about American River College, man. No, nothing about that shit. Hey, Inford, fuck John Elway. He, I, he, fuck him, dude. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey Stu. <laughs> Is that the best quarterback you ever played against, or was it Peyton Manning? Who? Who? Elway. Elway or Manning? I never played against Elway. Oh, yeah, you are an old man. Play against Manning. Yeah, we have an eight-year-old in the chat. Clearly. Who? Rice. Eat a dick, Brian. Get the fuck out of my house. Raiders, <laughs> Ravens are better. <laughs> Yo, it's all right. I mean, you know, everyone's got their opinion. Yeah, they're like assholes, and everyone's got one. And, and they, they all stink. That motherfucker put that shit thirty times, bro. Yeah, that guy. You really have no life, bro. No, that's all good, though, man. Look, look at look at that guy, man. This is this is the guy who has a. He did it again. <laughs> He's a the goat. Baboon. He has a, he has, he has a baboon <laughs> asshole. Rice is the goat. Hey, yo, right, yo, Rice, you are a king. We want to give you your flowers, man. Rice, let me ask you a question. How long did it take for you to come up with that? And actually, how much time have you put into trolling this chat? Hey, hey Rice, let me ask you this. Were you a hey, Browns Shout out to the 366 in here, though. You're not a real Ravens fan if you weren't a Browns fan. Ooh. How about that? Ooh. How about Rice, that? Uh, Rice, Rice, let me ask you a question, Rice. Damn. Hey, hey yeah. Hammer. Hammer is unwatchable. Damn. They look, look. Hey, yo, bro, yo, your name is fired. hilarious, bro. This guy's name is First. Hey, <laughs> hey it's funny because it says F Hammer. <laughs> F Hammer. F Hammer is you want to make, Hey, first things first. You want to let us know at Hammer. I just, I just, I just, I just finished yeah. taking my lips off of his fucking mother's ass. Tell that bitch to fucking <laughs> dust that shit every once in a while. Whoa. Talk that New York shit. Hey, salute to Mark Davis. Hey, 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 salute to Mark Davis. It could be Ray Rice. (laughs) It could be Ray Rice in the chat. Yo, hey, hey, salute to Mark Davis in the chat. (laughs) Elway was a commissioner. Wait, was a commissioner. Wait for being a Raider legend. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they they stepped in the middle of that trade. 
but he wasn't, so I don't give a fuck about the dude. He didn't play for my team, so he can go eat a dick. All right, so, so who, the greatest quarterback you played against is Peyton Manning, you think? Brady? Peyton Manning was really good. Uh, uh, Michael Vick was really good. Uh, Don McNabb was pretty good. Steve McNair was pretty good. Drew Brees right. was pretty goddamn good. How do you game plan for Trent, Michael? Trent Green was pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, Did you say Trent Green? He was pretty good. Yeah, Trent Green was pretty good. Trent Green used to uh, cut us up back then, man. Everybody cut us up. Mark Brunel was pretty good. He was, you know, um, obviously playing against Rich Gannon, uh, you know, um, Eli Manning. Okay. I like Listen, that. I, I, listen Rice, if, if he was over at Red Nation Unlimited, he'd be unceremoniously blocked. Be but unceremoniously today, blocked. today, today Rice, Pennington, we want to interview you, Chad, Rice. Chad Pennington. Uh, hey, man, that's a name that not a lot of people talk about. Chad, man, he was really good on those Jets teams, bro. He was, man. He was, mm -hmm. man. He goes, you know, you guys have the opportunity to be around the greatest athletes in the world. Penn State, right? He, nah, he was from um, Marshall. He, know, he was from Marshall. Marshall. Marshall, Randy Moss. He throw that shit up with Randy Moss. Yeah. Who am I talking about right now? Who am I thinking about the, the QB in, in that time period that came out of Penn State? Kerry Collins? Kerry, well, no, he's young. Kerry was before. Yeah, carries before. It's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of be, but damn, I forgot that he went to Marshall. Well, a Rob, there was a quarterback that I played against. His name was Robinson. He ended up playing running back at San Francisco. Demarcus Robinson. Demarcus yeah. Robinson. Demarcus Robinson. Robinson. He was he was a damn um, good quarterback. He's a running quarterback. My, uh, that's uh, Demar. He played for Michigan, right? Yeah, that's Robinson. The, they they turned him into a Denard. That's Denard. Yeah, he was. He, he was. A, they turned him to a running back in the National Football League. So Penn I know State. I know there's some quarterbacks I'm missing, dude. It, it's a kid with red hair that was there. He was pretty damn good back then. What the fuck was that kid's name? That's all Penn State was. They, they were known for having them redhead motherfuckers, dude. Uh -huh. Yeah, P Penn White State. Hey, we, we had one of them. That's huh? when Joe. That's when Joe Pa was there. Joe Pa was still alive. Then. Oh, we had one of them. Fuck him. I'm glad he's dead. We had the we had the rare rifle, Matt McLoin. Oh, McLovin, oh, baby. God, McLovin, baby. <sighs> mm hmm. McLovin, he had one good game that we didn't win, and we thought he was the future of the Raiders. That's how we were down bad back then, bro. I he wouldn't say Curry. David Carr was a great quarterback. I say he was a tough one, though. I watched Derek Burgess fucking unload on his ass, and he kept he kept getting right back up. I'm like, man, that's a, this is a tough motherfucker, dude. <laughs> hey, he so, wasn't that big of a dude. I would definitely have – Trace uh, McSorley. That's who I was talking about, Ruben. Thank you, Ruben Russ. Tr Trace McSorley, man, was nice, bro. Hey, Circle, I definitely would have to Amy Trask, Trask on. That'd be a great show. Amy Trask has a lot of a lot of information, a lot of stories. I would love to get Amy on the show. Yeah, the Princess of Darkness. If you're out there watching Princess of Darkness, come on yeah, over. You know, she she's definitely gonna she's just, yeah, she I she's a very close friend of mine. She, you know, she always responds. I just want to wait until it's the um the right time to bring her on. Philip Rivers, you know, he was Decent, I guess. Um, yeah, we hate him, but Philip was a dog, bro. Well, how about, about uh, Roethlisberger? Oh, Big Ben, yeah, shit. Big Man, that ben. tough to take down, bro. He's, a, I mean, he's big, he's big. Just don't get, just don't let him catch you in the bathroom. I know that. Oh, <laughs> the, great, the great rape ape, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was Michael Robinson, Stu. That, Michael, yeah. Michael Robinson, Michael okay. Robinson. Okay, so dude, these are the people that I remember, right. Trace McSorley, I remember uh, Christian Hackenberg. Oh, uh, yeah. oh I remember Hackenberg. Hack Shack. <laughs> Yo, Christian Hackenberg went to the Jets. Um, I remember um, shit. Um, Wally Richardson. Wally Richardson was nice, man. Yeah, uh, Rashard Casey. Rashard, Yo, Rashard Casey was from Camden, right? Hammer. Remember Rashard Ooh. Casey? Rashard Casey. Yes. Rashard Casey was nice. Yes, yes, yes. He's from Camden, right? I remember Rashard Casey, Wally Richardson. Um. Shit, Kurt, man. Penn Kurt State. Warner. Hey, Craig Krenzel at Ohio State. He was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, shit, man. Um, you got Kerry Collins, Todd Blackledge with the rifle arm. Hey, I'm telling you this. Kerry Collins could throw that bitch a fucking dude. He had a gun, dude. He, he's a nice dude to him. He's a cool. He's. A, he's. Yeah, I met him before. Real good. nice dude. Yeah. No, he's good. Yeah, he's. He hunts and stuff like that. He's a he, one. One of well, my. No, I, I remember. I mean, you know, a lot yeah, of guys. Hey, he hunts with his nose wasted. We would no, no. He actually bow hunts though. He he he, he like it's a he's stupid. Yeah, now nah, because I, I actually one, one of one of my one of my buddies 
is really cool with Kerry Collins. They they uh they bow hunt deer and stuff like that. I met him and shit like that. Real, real, real good shit. Dude, what am I thinking? Wow. Brett Favre? The Jake Plummer. Yeah, wow. Jake the Snake. I always wish that Snake the Snake, Jake the Snake would have came to the Raiders. I always like Jake Plummer from he Arizona just, State. Yeah, he was I just picked, I picked him bro. off. I picked him off in mile high. Jake Plummer. Yeah. Yep. Yo, he was just, he was just that was a different cat, bro. Like seriously, he he was a different cat. He definitely he was, Aaron, was. He was Aaron Rodgers with the, without the talent. I played. Her. <laughs> Look at Stewie. Oh, tried, to, tried to throw it to Rod Smith. I picked that bitch off. Fire, Stewie, man. Fire. Chad fire. Powers out of pin. Graph. Don't be trying to gas me up like that, motherfucker. I can't be nice. I said fire, motherfucker. Goddamn. Hey, that ball hit the ground, bitch. I felt bullshit in that fire comment you're making. That ball hit the ground, bitch. I picked off Michael Vick in Atlanta. <laughs> Michael Vick, I'm telling you guys, Michael Vick was one of the, he was. Are as you far serious? As, as far as what? Nah, somebody said plumber plays pickleball or some shit now. What? Yo, you know, he, he he does. Yeah, I, I've seen him. Yeah, Drew Bledsoe. Yeah, played against Drew Bledsoe. Uh, but Michael Vick, dude, I'm telling you, was that's so that's just fire to say that to say you you, you picked him off and then who dude, else? A Rod too, right? Was that was it A Rod? What? Who else? No, you picked out Brett Favre. Brett Favre in Lambo. Yep. Mm -hmm. Brett Favre. Jay Cutler, Jay Cutler was he was. You he, you didn't think to do uh the Lambo leap on that on that pick. To who? Who, who am I? What am I doing? Who, who am I jumping into? <laughs> just, 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 just on it. Forget it. Smoking Forget Jay it. Cutler. A Smoke. few Milwaukee Buck fans. <laughs> I couldn't. So I, I actually, so my roommate, my roommate, my freshman year, a very close friend of mine, John Goldsberry, badass linebacker, fullback, is from Santa Claus, Indiana. He went to Heritage Hills High School. His quarterback was Jay Cutler. So I met Jay Cutler when he was in high school. Uh, cause my freshman year, we went back to visit his friends and they had what they called a farm party. And I pissed in the corner of Jay Cutler's tent. I remember that I pissed all over that motherfucker. Was he, was he smoking cigarettes back then too? Um, he was fucked. We were all fucked up. I'm sure he was smoking <laughs> cigarettes. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You pissed in his tent. Thank oh, yeah. you for that stuff. Thank yep. you. <laughs> Fire. Hey, Aaron Brooks, Aaron Brooks. I mean, when he was in with the saints, that motherfucker could run and move, man. He played for us, you know? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Um, yeah, but dude, I'm telling you, Michael Vick, dude, he could, dude, he could fucking throw that thing, man. And he's he he wasn't very big, dude. He was a, I mean, really, he was a little dude. I mean, maybe six foot, maybe. Who? Mark Michael Vick. Bulger. Wow. I used to see him in Atlanta all the time. Yeah, cool ass Mark he's Bulger. Yeah, for the for the Rams, right? The Ram, yeah. Mark Bulger. Damn. Pause. For Bulger? Oh my god, yo, I fucking can't with y'all. Yeah, I, 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 I thought we left that in 2023, man. He, pause, pause. We did pause. I forgot the, the pause Olympics are done. Damn Stun, it, bro. Stunned, man. Doug Jolly. Oh uh, bro, I'll, I'll be 40 in, in 13 days. I got 13 days. Oh, try to extend it. Try to extend it, bro. Pause. Where did Doug, <laughs> hey, where did, where did Doug, where did Doug Jolly go? I got out of here, bro. Where did Doug Jolly go? I don't I don't remember what college he went to, but you know what I'm saying. I, 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 feel like it was something, I felt like it was something in the south. Nope. Yeah. No, Midwest. Nope. Was it? It was West. I know Ricky Dudley. I know where he went. But... Ohio, Ohio State. State. Yeah. Dudley Joey. went to BYU. Oh shit. Joey? He was Mormon. Here's Dude, another Mormon. Joey Harrington, bruh. Joey Harrington from Lions, Oregon. Oregon. Out of Oregon. Wow. He, had, he had the the build or the whole building. Uh, went number one. Heisman. No, he didn't. Joey Harrington went. At, no, David Carr went number one. He Where'd he go? Number two. Like th two or three to Detroit. Wasn't Jake David Carr Lowe? in the Texans supplemental draft? Played against Jake. No, Lowe. David Carr was the number one pick. He's their first draft pick ever. Yeah, Shit. yeah, he was. A, yeah, Tim yeah. Retay. Tim <laughs> High Stakes Retay, the great. <laughs> listen. Yo, Jim Todd Collins. Yo, Tim Rattay from uh, from from Fairleigh Dickinson University. He was number three. Was number three. Yo, Joey Harrington was number three, right? I, I was I was right. See, look up. Tony see, Romo. Wait, the old man's got a good memory on him. Don't I mean, bro, he was uh, Matt Hassel, Matt happened. Hassel, I was six. Go Matt Hassel back. Hey yo. <laughs> yo, your guy. kids, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> I know, like the Boondocks over there. Let me shut your eyes <laughs> up. <laughs> yo. 
Yo, yo, hey, pause, you know Brandon. Pause. You know what? You know what's funny, bro? With the 49ers oh, took uh, Jim Druckenmiller yeah. over Jake Plummer. Oh God. They took Jim Druckenmiller out of Virginia Tech over J- over Jake the Snake Plumber, man. Druckenmiller? Jim Druckenmiller. Yeah. Yep. Damn. Stupid ass Mooch. Mooch did that. I know like Bill Walsh, I'm like, take because J- Jake Plummer reminded him so much of Joe Montana. Yeah. Dude, like, take it. Yo, Jim I, I gotta get out of here in a second, y'all. My kids is over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll uh Yeah, me too. I gotta go to bed. Yeah, uh, I do want to. Uh, Randy Moss is one of the best teammates you could ever have, man. Awesome, awesome guy. Would rent out movie theaters, rent out bowling alleys for the kids. Um, he he would say, you know what? I listen. Like, I'll go deep and take three guys with me, but you guys like to to set up other guys to get them the ball and stuff like that, man. Always- you don't talk about that type of shit, but 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 Dominican, go check out some of some of the Graf and Stu shows. Stu was told mad stories about Randy Moss, like right. mad stories. Right. So bro, that's the best, bro. I, you know, I used to love when Randy was going crazy on the sideline when he was at the Vikings. They throw me the ball, Pip. Throw me the ball, Pip. You get your roll on all day. <laughs> Straight cash, <laughs> homie. That, that's one of I'm the best videos ever. Straight cash, homie. Giovanni Carmuzzi. Yes, I do remember Giovanni Carmuzzi. <laughs> <Yo. laughs> so, so, let's say this. Let's say, hey, thank you, everybody, for coming in. Yes. Um, any last thank you guys so much, especially for bringing over the people from your show. Come on, that's um, appreciate the support, guys. Again, I want to end uh, on just giving uh, Mark Davis and his staff for the hospitality that they show. And you, uh, last comments wasted. Mark Davis, we love you. We support you. And don't you ever cut that bowl cut off for anyone, Mark. We love you. It. We Hell love no. you. Man. That that's that that's our owner's trademark. F everybody. We like your bowl cut, brother. My last words, y'all, is hit the subscribe button. Thank Stu, you. Stu is almost to three thousand subscribers. Oh, oh. Whoever's not subscribed, man, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Real talk, man, and and, and keep that. supporting our brother, man, because you know, like to be real with you, man, like it's always great to see Stu active and just in, in good spirits, because this is when you get Stu in his element. Was just having fun talking football, talking life. So you know, I know he does a lot of. It. If y'all, are, if y'all want to watch some nine, ten hour long shows, <laughs> I to fucking stew, bro. Like he literally, YouTube marathon. This man. motherfucker do nine hundred push ups on a live. Well, here, and here's the thing. I, I I've been wanting to do it, but I'd love because obviously no one's gonna sit there and watch. But I, I'd like to pull because there are there's good stuff in those long hours. I'd like to pull some stuff. From that stuff, yeah, that stuff gets missed. Little you know? bro, send Stu that 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 website you have, because there's an app, bro, where you can cut a bunch of stuff up from your shows and upload them by themselves. Oh, okay. That, no, who who has that? Who has Hammer that? knows it, and Wasted does too. Both of them know. And Hammer, what you got? Last, uh, what do you have for the Raiders, the fans, Mark? Who anyone? Na- Nation, you know I love you guys. Uh, Mark, if you're watching, please put put the three of us in your front office, man. We, we'll be able to make some conscious football whoa, decisions. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa! The three of us. There's four people we're, here. We're putting you on the coaching staff. Oh, nah, I don't. Nah. <laughs> I, I, I was like, damn, that motherfucker just cut me out the. Uh, <laughs> I, I was wondering. I, yeah, I'm like, I thought crazy. it was me. I thought it was me. <laughs> but, I, but I have to say this. To know that Mark Davis watches us is fucking dope. Like, like, the, you, like the owner of the Ray. It doesn't get any bigger than that, man. You know what I'm saying? So for him to walk up to Stu at the at, and say, "I love what you guys do," that's fucking dope. So, hey, Mark, thank you for kind of from afar supporting what we do. Yeah. And like I said, every time I see him and he, and he shoots me that smile, I, I always feel like, yeah, I know something. Like, he, like man, I'm like. Does he know about Oak Las Vegas and shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, there, where you get that shirt? I like that shirt. I'm wearing my own shit. I'm like, this motherfucker. <laughs> hey man, listen. Hey, you know what? That that's a way that we can kind of style and profile on all the haters. Yeah. Guess what? Mark Davis ain't watching you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I love it. There I love have. it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, man. But other than that, man, Stu, you already know, bro. We love you. Thank you for inviting us over. Yeah, thank you, uh, Stu. You know. You, Stu. Yes. So when, when are uh, when are you guys going to be on next? Just to- I'll, be I'll be live. I'll be live. I think twice tomorrow. We have um, the Aiden O'Connell and Devontae Adams press conference, and then eight 
Eastern, five Pacific. I'm gonna have um, a special guest on. I'm not giving that away. It's gonna it's gonna be a mystery guest. Y- y'all ain't gonna want to miss it, though. I can tell you that right now. That's dope. That's dope. I can't wait to see it. Other than that, I'll probably be live doing a coffee and combo tomorrow. Stu, I'll hit you up if you're free, man. Pull pull up. Yeah, no, 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 definitely. I, I, hey, thanks, Burnt Rice. I love the mug shot, my mug shot from a couple years back. That's pretty dope. That that's the same rice. He just changed his default picture. And, oh no, yeah, no, default yeah, yeah. pitch is awesome though. It looks you like a backup quarterback right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> you was- definitely did you look like you did some shit you weren't supposed to do, bro. Like def- you look like you was on some hot shit that night. Like it was, nah. um it like no, it was a chill, it was a chill, it was a it was a chill night, and no, nah, I, I was on no hot shit. I wasn't doing nothing. It was cold that night. It was cold yeah. that night, wasn't exactly. it? But thank I think <laughs> <laughs> wait, you're doing coffee and combo tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. Pull up, let's talk some shit. What dude, what time? Stupid, yo. I, I, I'll call I'll call you after I get the boys situated okay. and we'll figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. thanks again, guys. Love you guys. Go Love Raiders. Too, yes, sir. Yes. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. You guys have a blessed night. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. Love y'all, my brothers. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.